hello hello yes i think right now you can hear me this looks fine i don't know i don't know what the problem is for the desktop audio but let me try right now if it works no desktop audio is still not working uh not not sure how to figure that out is out guys blunders happening off the board i completely understand the players just give me a few seconds there <laughs> guys how is it going on our guys are doing very very well let me just uh, show you over here the rankings gukesh and nepo on 4 points karuana and prag on 3 and 1/2 each vidit and naka on 3 points and nijad and firuza having a very tough tournament on 1 and 1/2 yesterday we were discussing about it that two players walking together <laughs> you know it's a very rare situation we see that uh, out of eight players every two players are on the same points it's very funny go but uh, very important day because gukesh is in joint lead also prag is right there if he wins he will also get into the lead so looking at the women's pair uh, women's rankings we have tan leading with four and half completely crushing it goriach kina following with four points then we have lano on three and a half leting ji on three so you know first four rankings everyone on uh different points three three and a half four four and a half then we have nurgil and vaishali on two and a half hampi having a tough tournament here along with anna and they are on two points each so today's pairing is here we have them Nakamura versus Nepom Niachi, uh, Karuana versus Pragnananda, Nijat versus Vidit, and Ali Reza versus Gukesh. So uh, we're going to talk about it. But before that, women's pairings are Lano versus Salimova, Goriachkina versus Tan Zongi, Anna Muzichuk versus Hampi, and Leetingji versus Vaishali. So that's going to be an epic battle. Let's quickly. <laughs> started again <laughs> lot of mess up 
but at least you can hear my voice my only thing is now my desktop sound is not working so if we have a guest i will have to test that out how it's gonna work but we'll figure something out kuch to ho hi jayega jaise kal kal hua tha but chat me how is the mood in the chat we can hear desktop sound too but for me it doesn't uh, show that you can hear the song let's just try this song can you hear this song oh yeah shatranj ka kamal ab bhi sunai de raha hai play kare kya ya yeah, baatein kare guys do you want to hear song yeah, or do you want to hear me talk or do you want the song at the background hello atanu long time karo karo Devan says, आज तो घर पे लड़ाई है वीडी वर्सेज गुकी नो 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 दैट इज लेट और टुमोरो इज अ रेस्ट डे एंड देन वी स्टार्ट द यू नो विद द सेम पेरिंग लाइक इट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम राउंड वन सो इट विल बी द एट्थ राउंड बातें बातें नो सॉन्ग ठीक है बैकग्राउंड में लाइट वॉल्यूम में इफ आई पुट दिस हाउ इज दिस ठीक है and then we can talk i guess you can hear me ha jas mein jo ye maza hai iske din saare rang bahut light hai abhi low volume okay good lower lower Manses this is cool like many twitch streamers too Shatranj ka kamaal Ronak that's very good to know congratulations Mayur says this song after such a long time for me very nice Yeah you it kind of sings in and Devin the rain sarthak did an amazing job I'm gonna I'll sing the song, guys. If today our guys will be, you know, one of them will be in lead, we will sing this song together at the end of it. Copyright नहीं आएगा. अपना ही. Harshit, by the way, is playing a tournament. He is in Saint Louis, so he's also playing tournament. He's he's going to definitely try to join. when and uh, you know how it is possible but let's see it's never easy when you're preparing you always like okay one more line one more line it keeps going on so rakshit says if bd wins today i will send samosa to you amrita ji rakshit that's the only thing i will just never eat i hate samosa <laughs> But remember, you lost the bet yesterday, so we still have to find the challenge. Okay, song abhi kya tum hone ko aaya, so we can pause it. That's fine. Also, maybe I would like to show you some of the. Uh, how did you like the Fide ad? By the way, did you guys check that out? Did you check out with it and Karuana? It was a very, very cute ad. I felt small one. scoreboard yeah let's let me keep the standings for now that can be a good idea so that we have because gukesh is leading let's have this over here i think you can read it standings after round 6 and we also have live games we also have bars rakshit the rounds are going to start in 7 minutes thank you demon king That's amazing. Good life says samosa be like mujhe kyu toda. Ah no, I doubt. I doubt sama is coming. But I guess you can watch him on. Uh, on other channels. Predictions today. 
गाइज चैट के साथ लेट्स डू प्रडिक्शन सो लेट मी गो यर फॉलोअर टू द फर्स्ट वन गोकेश वर्सेस फिरोजा वॉट्स द प्रडिक्शन कैन वी डू इट विथ ई फोर एंड डी फोर एंड यूज आर चैट चेस मूव सो दैट वी आर एबल टू प्रेडिक्ट इट बेटर लेट्स डू दैट so we will have e4 for the win d4 for uh, e4 for for e4 white win e5 for black win and uh, b3 for draw okay e4 for white win e5 for black win and b3 for a draw let's try to do that E5 and that's black win. That's Gukesh. Guk. I mean, we are more towards Gukesh either winning or a draw. But there are people who do think that Ali Reza will strike back. Interesting. But it's such a cool matchup, especially after yesterday when Vidit beat Ali Reza in that amazing opening which he uh, played. Ali Reza kind of, you know, did not wasn't in that. more you know as a candidate and it was he was not feeling like that yesterday we saw that or happening on the board so here gukesh wins is what oops you can't see that i'm so sorry what am i doing yeah there you go so gukesh wins is your prediction okay chat next one let's go with the next one For Pragnananda versus Karuana, we will have d4 for white win, d5 for black win, and g3 for a draw. Let's do that. D4 for white win, d5 for black win, and g3 for a draw. What's chat saying? Harish Kumar, who has been member for twenty months and backer of Indian says, says thanks, Amrita, for covering this event. Go VD. Thank you, Harish, for following. Today we should also have some goals, guys. I Sagar says subscriber goals, help chess goals, sare goals. Move over here. We have G three winning, so draw. I mean, it's not like people are just saying that okay, because Prague is black, Prague is going to beat. So it's a draw prediction for chat in Karuana versus Prague. So Gukesh wins, Prague draw. Now we will go to uh, the next prediction that's with it, which we will have c four for white win, c five for black win, and h three for a draw. With it versus Nijat. Let's go. Let's go. Aussi, thank you for your contribution for first time. Rakshit says goal ka pata nahi par main late night snacking karke goal ho gaya hu. <laughs> अरे रक्षित फिर सॉकर खेल के गोल मार वाओ सो वी हैव सी फोर सी फाइव मतलब विदित विल विन इज लाइक वेरी क्रशिंगली विनिंग यूर इन चैट जस्ट मूव की विद इट इज गोन बीट निजात गैस विद द ब्लैक पीसेस एंड इफ यू रिमेंबर येस्टरडे अगर डिड मैंशन दैट निजात विद वाइट पीसेस इज स्ट्रॉन्ग विघ्नेश यस पी जे दैट्स कॉल्ड पी जे Oh, did I not bring my water bottle? I did. So now let's go back. Oh, by the way, my Zoom Zoom is working. All links have been sent. Everything is great, perfect. So go. Let's go back to the women's games and try to say for uh, Hampi and Vaishali. Okay, Vaishali is playing with the black pieces against late Inji. Let's do again uh, e four and e five and b three. Let's repeat that. But let me just clear the moves. Yeah, e four for white win, e five for black win, and b three for a draw. Yesterday was the first time where actually Prague and Vaishali they both had different results. Normally they have, they were having the same results. So. साइल से ये नी जिबाई ये नी जी नी जात भाई हरियाणा से हरियाणा से है क्या साइल आई यू प्लानिंग टू बिकम अ कॉमेडियन 
बी थ्री यहाँ पे थोड़ा मुश्किल प्रडिक्शन चल रहा है बट बी थ्री दैट्स मे बी ड्रॉ और वैशाली विन्स दैट्स द प्रडिक्शन यो लेट्स गो डू हम्पीज गेम एंड शी इज प्लेइंग विथ एना मुजिचुक It's, we have one minute to go, and the games have begun, guys. The games have begun. We will go to the main board, and let's come back to our predictions again. But Humpy's game begins with e4, e5, knight f3. Vaishali also starts with e4, e5. What about our leader, joint leader? He starts with d4, d4 on the board. No Sicilian, no e4, nothing doing. Just simple. If oh no, sorry, that's Alire the Firuza who has played d4, not Gokesh, who otherwise loves London system. So Alire the has gone for d4. He is in a very different mood. Does anyone know today? Was he wearing goggles like yesterday and yellow shirt? He came in style today. What is his mood like? We should ask Sagar Shah whenever he joins us. It would be cool. Knight f6 by Gokesh, and this time Alire the goes bishop f4. London system against Gokesh. But uh, Gukesh himself plays that, and I'm sure that he is going to be very well prepared. So, maza aega. Ramit says, sitting at T2 Mumbai, waiting to board. Can't wait to watch this at a reasonable hour. Thanks for the coverage, you guys. Are you Ramit? That is awesome. So, you're going back to US. like the stream guys so the stream is recommended for more people some guests might or might, might join now or later stay tuned to know that's what rakshit says yes we'll also have one of the days um, hari krishna he'll also be there one of the days so yeah we will be having a lot of guests so be there d4 d5 the only problem is you cannot really wake up many of the guests at midnight <laughs> e3 that's what is happening in alireza gukesh we will come back here Let's see if any craziness. Petrov on Nakamura versus Nepomniachtchi. We are betting a, a draw here. Prag. Oh, that is French. We have French on the board. Is that what Prag played? Really? Kya baat hai? Is it the first uh, first game of French in men's section, guys? I believe so. I won't remember if Ali Reza or Nakamura have played it, but I think this might be the first one. E five. We have advanced French. You can see with this move. White has closed the center with the dark pawns. Has got more space behind the pawns. The pawn chain pointing at the king side. One of the important breaks which can happen in the future is f5. So c5 played. Black challenges the center, and white goes c3. Solidifies the center. Everything. All the focus on the d4 guy over here. Knight goes to c6. Once again, you put pressure on d4. Knight f3. Once again, he defends the d4. And queen b6. You can see each move of black pointing at d4. But this guy over here also keeps an eye on b2, making it difficult to go bishop e3. Prag goes a3. Now, what is this? What is this variation called? What is the name of this variation? Guys, we have fifteen lakh thirty thousand six hundred and eighteen people. Can we have a goal of reaching thirty one thousand? But maybe step by step, let's try to go six. Let's let's try to go seven hundred for now. Thirty seven hundred subscribers. Also, Akash Bhatt was the last uh, help chest contributor. So thank you, Akash. We have eleven sixty four believers. Maybe we can aim at. Um, Eleven seventy believers today. Eleven seventy seventy five. Let's say and yeah, that could be cool. What is the name of this opening? The French. Which line in French? Guys, yes, it is advanced French, Mayank. Very well done. That's advanced French. A three has been played. So whenever C takes D four happens, C takes D four happens. This square will be covered for the knight, which will attack the bishop on D three, which will not have much squares. And you can see the light square bishop would be very happy to be on the diagonal. Also for bishop B four check. So A three is the advanced variation, one of the main variations. Uh, 
we, I can't believe we have this on the board. Bishop d7 played by Pragnananda. And Karuana goes with the main line. He goes b4 over here. And as this pawn, he, now you have to take a decision. It's your career decision here. You can't be just sitting right there. Guys, what is the career you have chosen? So b4 has been played. C takes d4 happens on the board. C takes d4. It would be the same. Yeah, for cb4 also, you're not going to take ab4. Anyway, cb4. So whatever you take, finally, we would have landed in the same uh, exchange. Rook comes to c file. The c file just got open and that's what black says. Bringing his rook to the c file. The bishop goes to b2 and over here, black plays Pragnanda goes knight g e7. There is another move which you can play. And the move is, uh, by the way, any guesses, any idea of another the other move, the main line? It's something which you might not very quickly consider, but let's see. Sahil says, C5 pawn is like Farhan from three idiots. Engineering versus photography. <laughs> bars. Thank you for reminding. Bars ki kami hai. Bas bar ki kami hai, guys. Once they are here, we feel drunk. So let's go. Yes, knight a5 is the other main line. If you observe this guy over here, there is a pin. So if you take here, then black just takes this, attacks this very happy. So you can't really do that. And this knight is jumping on the c4 outpost with the rook, with the pawn uh, and without it being attacked. So that's one of the thing. Very cool idea. Knight a5. Knight g7 was played by Prag and Karuana is thinking. Now, of course, Karuana is the opening expert. So, we're not even asking whether he is prepared or not. He's only recollecting what is to be done because there are ideas with knight c3, knight a4. He can also develop bishop d3 directly. So, let's see what he does. In the meantime, time to get the bars because we, yesterday we had a very nice um, feature where if, there, if, it, if it was a blunder, if it was a 0.08 difference come move is found then the bar will guide us it will make a sound and how cool is that also for the men's section There we go. So, they fit your well. So, if you currently see the bars, any opening uh, Karuana versus Prag shows that 0 0.5, but uh, it's still opening. It's the line which Prag has gone for. We have seen that Prag is not at all worried about, you know, what advantage, how much advantage his opponent is having or anything. He is well prepared and he is remembering his lines and he has managed to score some wins because of his preparation. So, I am very keen what novelty is he going to bring today. After knight g e7, Karuana has gone into a thought. It's been three minutes. We'll come back here. But with it versus Nijat. Oh, so slow. Why? e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6 and with it is gone. No, with it is black. With it is black. Bishop b5 has been played. And he has been thinking for just a moment. Firstly, he went e5. And he had four, he used 4 minutes on the clock. So, this is something I'm surprised that he's used 4 minutes. Did he reach late or was he just thinking getting into the groove? So, knight f3 is played and then knight c6. And for bishop b5, he's thinking. Is he thinking of the f5 ideas? Because that would be completely crazy. Crazy ho jayega, guys. Vidit. Yes, Vidit ka game. We have Vidit ka game. Meditating. He was meditating. Ah. Wow. So, even when the clock started, he was meditating. That's what he didn't care about the time. So, that means, in a way, 
VD stuck in meditation matrix, says Saran Kumar. In a way, look at his confidence level today. Because if he, man, like he was coming under time pressure, and if he's using these two, three minutes to meditate, that means to just let go of this time, he has to be very, feeling very confident today. He generally does, does that. Not so much, I think. Not every day. I think. don't think he's been taking 3-4 minutes. But on the board, d3 was played. He goes bishop c5. Are we going to see archangels? Bishop c6. d6. I just like the name archangels. I don't even know the spelling. Do people know in the chat? <laughs> so d takes c6 has been played. And uh, short castle there. By the way, one question to you, which Sagar loves to ask over here. If white would have taken knight takes d4, what is the move for black to play? Black to play. What's the move? You would be like, yeah, chess with India pay ye same answer kitani bar diya hai. Kitani bar. Bas bhi karo abhi. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. That is the right one. Queen D4. Shaurya, Arunu, Maheshwari, Jyoti, Chess, Atharva, Mayang, Kheman, Shaurin, Shivam. Absolutely amazing. This is the move. Queen D4 attacking your, attacking your. Be careful about the loose spots over there. So definitely not Knight E5. He castled, he defends this and now this could be a threat. So knight goes back to d7 and with it simply defends this over here. So he's blocked his own bishop and he's moved his piece twice. So what is he planning? Is he planning short castle next? Is he planning anything like a5 to you know because c3 is going to happen? Already question is if you go c3 with the idea of d4 because you want to break open in the center when the king seems like in the center. What is Vidit going to do? Vidit will simply castle and not worry about the move d4 because he can keep his bishop here on d6 and later he can think of striking in the center with c5 as well. Also, he remember that you can always keep the pawn on f6. Defend is there is no light square bishop. So over here, there is not much to worry about. Knight c3 has been played by Nijat. Now, Nijat yesterday... Uh, had a tough game against Pragnananda. He couldn't really uh, manage to defend. He played some amazing moves. He found some amazing ideas. Yet, full game until the end. It's never easy. So, I don't know he, in what mood he is right now. But definitely, they want to strike back. Ali Reza, Nijad, they want to strike back. So, Knight C3 on the board. Again, you will wonder where is the Knight really going. Because this is all... Uh, this is all controlled. So guys, where is the knight going? Sneha says, good work with the bar notification today. Oh guys, yes, Rakshit has improved the sound and, you know, things where blunder alerts and all. So you will get the sound. In fact, I'm not here putting my earphones on. So maybe I should also put that. So I will get the notification with the sound. Let's see. Mazaiga. So, Rakshatopi, totally. Ho hi jai. It makes, us, makes it so easy to look at the boards. Just get the... In one glance, get to know what is happening. If you guys are busy working on some... Developing some code or you're an artist, you're painting. <laughs> it's just one glance over here. Or what else? If you're cooking, let's say if you're in US, maybe right now you might be cooking breakfast. Or kya karte ho bhai log? Aap hi batao. Side by side. Okay. So where is the knight going? I had asked. And people, what are they saying? Knight A4. Not very sure about where the knight is going, I think. But I believe the knight 
also always have this op has this option of shifting itself uh, because c3 d4 is not happening right now maybe maybe i don't know the opening details much but we will see how nijat is going to play but with it you are thinking he's gone down to 1 hour 46 minutes 15 minutes down but that has become his usual trend so we're not even worried about it anymore let's see what he plays for me more instinctively feels like uh, you want to get the bishop out and you want to long castle that feels like then you just want to attack and with it has shown that that he's not worried about keeping his king in the center and all that so will we see something like that let's look at let's keep a watch here but pragnananda's game after bishop b2 knight g7 knight c3 was played by fabiano and prag at this point now he goes knight a5 with the same idea of jumping the knight to c4 so knight goes to a4 um, the queen is attacked if you take bishop a4 huge blunder because queen a4 check and next move no not really blunder because the knight can still go back to c6 but the position is uh, black did not achieve anything with this idea of going here knight d5 oh my god the meeting has ended after 40 minutes is there anything which is a way that i can solve this issue i don't know we have to send the same link again to everyone but koini at least sagar can't scare me off because sometimes he suddenly joins in and i yeah it's hard And also share with Harshad because he had def he had said that he will definitely try to make it. Uh, I don't know what today is the first round, right? Does anyone know the pairing whom Harshad is playing? He's playing in Saint Louis today. Uh, we let's see. So knight a c six and black has not achieved anything much over here. So we go to the main game where after knight a four queen c six was played and the queen attacks the knight. Now the knight is happy to you know you have these white has the c five square black has this c four square. We have this fight only one open file so everybody is wanting to you know go there pile up over there. Knight goes to c four. Prague is saying that I'm not worried if you take here take here this pawn i'm very happy it's a passer i'm gonna support it i get the square for the knight so this would be strategic mistake giving up a lovely bishop over here so one question to all of you by the way in closed position which piece is more important which minor piece is more important basic question no for for you chat Sile says Amruta Naka ki game mein queen and knight are on the world tour. Please switch. Ooh, let us check. Hikaru's game. Knight. Okay, nobody is giving a wrong answer. So, well done. Absolutely. Close positions. Knights are stronger. Knight c4 has been played by Prague and Karuana is taking time. Something interesting happening in Naka's game. What? How did we reach over here? Oh my goodness. Craziness. Petrov. By Nepo, he's been playing Petrov here. So, rook e1, bishop f5, it's all the standard main line. c5, this is also line, but g3, a5. Okay, not sure about the these last few theory moves. g3 is, in fact, something such counterintuitive because you're weakening the light squares. Knight d2 by Nakamura. Bishop goes back to e6. Says there is a disco here. So, queen b7. This is a poison pawn. Naka takes it and knight f2. Kya chal rahe? What's happening here? Again, uh, if you want to guess the next move for white, uh, crazy. Oh my god. Thanks, Sile. Because this is something we cannot miss. Such a crazy opening. White. How do you calculate, guys? What did Naka play now? Any guesses? Yes, was this He took the pawn on h7 let's go into the details later because i want to understand which position they have reached king f7 queen a8 so white has given the bishop and captured the rook he's exchanged up right now but the knight is hanging knight goes here check and king goes to g2 what's the material 
material here we have two pawns two pawns two two so there is one pawn for the exchange uh, sorry yeah exchange so bishop goes to g4 so firstly going back two three moves okay over here they both prepared that's insane for this insane line queen b6 knight f2 was played what happens for king f2 first question guys in the chat first question for you chat chess moves is waiting to get your answer black to player quick questions pen low notebook low this is going to be your tactics test by naka and nepo they are teaching us yes absolutely bishop g3 and we have a disco here so that is crazy you can't go king f2 now he goes bishop h7 because if you go queen takes eight then there is knight d3 attacking the rook and well there is maybe it's some compensation because it's not like a, uh, the material is becoming equal or something but there are threats and it's some preparation insane preparation bishop h7 was played so he takes here uh, the bishop basically picked up one pawn and now the knight gives check king g2 bishop g4 is the queen going to get trapped that is the question so the queen comes out to b7 uh, so that it can always come back to b3 this is the position very interesting naka versus nepo we'll just keep a watch because such an interesting opening uh we should know yeah what happens here nepo has ways to go f5 f4 so all those who predicted a draw in this game i doubt what is going to happen if nepo goes f5 it's already a big fight if he goes rook e8 maybe let's see maybe it could move towards draw but we will keep a watch going to gukesh's game uh after bishop f4 because he's the leader and london system happening on the board d5 e3 c5 ali reza goes knight f3 today is he going to make quick moves knight bd2 e6 was played knight bd2 and queen goes to b6 looks like french from black but of course white structure is different and you will know that it's not french from black but certain things d4 under pressure b2 under pressure of course with the queen on b6 we are all aware of that rook b1 cd4 ed4 this has been played by the way uh by a few people on top bishop goes to d7 he's developing what is the idea why did he first develop bishop d7 instead of knight c6 i want to ask the chat what is gukesh's idea did you guys guess that If I look at the bars right now, everything seems in control. In no board, anybody has made a big blunder or something like that. Travel with Nikhil Roshan says hello, four thousand viewers. Please like. Karna button. What is the, yes? Wow, cool, amazing. Exchanging the bishop. That is the idea where he's not developed this, and this also in French happens sometimes that queen b six and early bishop d seven is developed so that you want to exchange the light square bishop. The because black has pawns on the light squares, so he is very happy to exchange this bad bishop versus this good bishop. So bishop d7, c3 has been played. Bishop b5 by Gukesh and Ali Reza. Next move, Ali Reza's next move. Any guesses? Sahil asks how all five Indians got black pieces today. Interesting, yeah, because last two rounds they all had uh, white pieces. Both the rounds and all five of them. So we had a poll. We had a chat uh, answering. They have guessed Gukesh to beat Ali Reza. They have guessed uh, Vidit to beat Nijat and Pragnananda's draw. That's what the chat has voted for the men section. He played H four. He played H four with his king in the center. And what he's saying is, I 
one of the thing is he always can push his pawn to h5, h6 and weaken the dark squares over here. So that is something which Ali Reza has gone for. And knight bd7 played by Gukesh. So he took here around 9 minutes. Uh, because I think could he have also considered developing the knight to c6. This was a choice as well. So he thinks for 9 minutes and he goes knight d7. Ali Reza having 13 minutes more than Gukesh. He's having 1 hour 53 minutes. And uh, yes, natural would be to continue with h5. If last move you had played h4. But also uh, the ideas with knight e5 would be there. And if you take the bishop here, then black has the queen here, which stops the short castle. So either white will have to challenge the queen and the queens will get exchanged. So Gukesh is actually maybe even ready to go into an end game. Who knows? Uh, though he has some other choices, it's not forced. So knight bd7 played by Gukesh and he's playing very solid. Being a leader, one of the things I think what happens is you are going to keep that uh, safe spot where you will play solid. And at moments, you are also ready to take risk. So, Gukesh is, I think, happy with his position with the black pieces. For Pragnananda, after knight, c th after knight c5, knight c4, here we left. Bishop c3 was played. The bishop saves itself. He, of course, he doesn't take here on c4. b6, kicking the knight away. Now, the white knight can be kicked, whereas the black knight, Prag's knight, Cannot be kicked. Remember that. So knight takes d7. This knight which came to c3, a4, c5 and finally after the whole journey just simply has to capture this uh, piece which is not the best piece in black's position but in long term it's always defending some important light squares and the pawns. And at any point of time when it gets a chance to uh, get out of the pawn chain then it becomes very strong. So knight d7 on the board, queen d7 and Karuana simply keeps, uh, develops his bishop to d3. This is one of the most important diagonal guys. Uh, there is the theme, the theme of, uh, let me ask you, let, let's do fill in the blanks. Dash gift, which gift guys, which gift? Do you remember the theme, which gift? Maybe I can give you another hint, Daniel King. Yes, chat may sabko sab pata hai. That's the point. It's the Google CBI chat. Guys, by the way, we are reaching 700 subscribers. Oh, wow. We reached 700 subscribers. So that is amazing. Our goal of 31,000 today. Do you think there is a possibility? Any chance? Greek gift, black sword, Neeraj, uh, not Neeraj, Rohan. World of Wit, Shivam, Rohit, Saksham, Greek Gift. Everyone remembers. Yeah, everyone remembers. <laughs> Travel with Nikhil Russian, Valentine's Gift. No, 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 no. It's a Greek Gift. And the point of the few things about the Greek Gift are to observe. One is that you need a pawn on e5, which has taken away the square where the knight usually is developed. And that knight defends the h7 point. Now, this at 7 point, if you see, there is our bishop keeping an eye. And we have our knight who is ready to jump in on g5. And along with it, the queen can join in the attack. So, that's the Greek gift. The first thing, the knight cannot be on f6. And that's why black, whenever he castles, he will have to make sure that he is calculating these ideas over here. Otherwise, he will not be able to castle. So, bishop d3 has happened in the board of Karuana versus Pragnananda. Now, what is Pragnananda going to do? He has some development issues. He has to solve them. Where is he going to develop the bishop? Right now seems, you know, no chance. Where is he going to put this knight? Where, where is he going to put this king? Is he going to castle? Is he going to keep the king in the center? So, a lot of questions there for Prag. But what we know is Prag is prepared. He already knows the answers. He is just... Uh, figuring it out on the board right now what to play making sure that there's no mistake happening can we come here again let's go to with its board and yes after knight d7 knight c3 with it does go queen e7 he thinks for 15 minutes 15 minutes he is thought 
and he's gone queen e7 guys do you think vidit is in a complete mood today to long castle kya lagta hai long castle or no vidit's game mein what's your prediction there will be long castle or no long castle no 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 yes no long castle for vd today long castle guys i am predicting long castle the way uh, things are happening with with it it's like he is playing decisive ga games win or lose so i think he's not worried we will see long castle we will see long castle but to long castle he needs one move the bishop has to develop and one move for something else to move to help him to develop so that's why he will need two moves one is either he will have to push the b pawn or this knight has to move again and then i would definitely question if the knight goes back it would be like why did it come back to d7 so for sure the knight has no plans to go back to f6 uh that's very very clear which means that likely we will have the pawn moving to b6 so he will read out with b6 the bishop developing here the bishop going back maybe c5 later to open this bishop and on this side i'm not sure h6 g5 f5 what not but for sure it will get crazy after a bit not immediately after a bit not like yesterday with ali reza but a little bit later okay just a quick look at also uh, we'll come back here but women section uh because vaishali what is she doing with the black pieces against late ingi they had italian on the board d3 bishop c5 short castle d6 c3 was played and she goes a5 stopping b4 knight goes to d2 she castles rook comes to e1 i think vaishali has played many italian games yeah in this tournament h6 she is becoming an italian expert in some way bishop b5 played wow very like because you've already developed your bishop to c4 and now you're going bishop b5 so here vaishali says i want to move my knight away she defends that goes knight e7 and the next thing is she's not right now worried about the move d4 but what is her plan for d4 because the bishop will be attacked and i think vaishali would want to go c6 kick the bishop away maybe some exchanges in the center the knight would come to g6 f4 so pretty interesting position for vaishali with the black pieces going to humpy's game uh she played rylopes a6 happened and what is the side line knight g e7 it's a side line so humpy is black in fact humpy has gone for a side line c3 was played by anna knight g6 d4 takes takes check and we have reached this position right now in humpy's game so humpy the way she went for the sideline it is clear that she is in a mood also to get a fresh position to calculate it on the board and she has 20 minutes more she's managed to surprise anna a little bit uh, so i believe i can predict a win for humpy today going back to nepo versus uh, naka just to have a quick look what happened after bishop g4 queen b7 rook e8 was played and nakamura brings back his queen so he's saying that i'm okay if you take my rook my knight goes back that's also pretty fine we have actually nakamura is an exchange up but the computer says the position is completely equal this is very interesting to analyze and we should come back here again but for now i'm very keen like all of you to check these games gukesh first h4 knight bd7 still ali reza is thinking they are almost on equal time so we have looked at this position going to pragnananda pragnananda was thinking how to solve the developmental issues where is he going to put the bishop he goes g6 here and says i am going to develop my bishop on g7 now once he pushes this pawn which are the two squares of course you know these are the two squares which he has decided to weaken the dark squares are weak but this bishop is on c3 right now at some point it can reroute itself another idea is that white 
as we have seen in Ali Reza's game, h4, h5, h6 would make this bishop trap. <laughs> you know, if you have castle, then h6 will trap the bishop. So you have to be a little careful about white's plan. So g6 has been played and the first question is to you chat, can white go h4? Okay, he can. But the question is, is there no discovered attack? No, because if you take the pawn on a3, the rook defends the bishop. So there is no disco. If you take this pawn and attack the bishop, the knight jumps in and attacks the queen. So there is no disco. So though the bishop here on c3 is loose, there is no disco. So g6 has been played. And I think Karuana, Karuana is thinking whether he should castle. Or whether he should go move like h4 because that is also very interesting. One question to you guys. Finally, finally a question because I am almost about to ask a question and then I realize this is too easy for you chat. But tell me if I am completely wrong. Yes, Harshit is playing in St. Louis. Yeah, oh, round. Well done. H4, then H5. H4, then H5. Did I ask the question or no? <laughs> Rijwan asks, Hi, Amrita, what is disco? That's a very good question, actually. Because, uh, you know, we have got used to uh, saying this disco like as if it's the, the word, it's the theme. But for all, imagine all the new people coming in chess. They're like, disco, kya hai? we have to go, we have to play chess or we have to go to disco or we have to dance. So it's funny. <laughs> Demon King says, she forgot to ask the question. Did I? Was I just waiting for the answer? Maybe I asked the question <laughs> in my mind. Okay, the question was, the question was this. Will you put your pawn on h5? Or would you be okay to allow the pawn on white pawn to h5? That was the question. Nitin says, Amrita can with it still win candidates? Yes, he can. Roughly the score around nine and a half. So... You cannot lose. I don't think he can lose again. Answer Amrita is wrong. Disco. Discovered check. Absolutely. Disco is, is a theme. It's discovered. Basically, it's a discovered attack. It can be discovered check. And when there are three pieces in a row where you have your two pieces, three pieces in a file or a diagonal or a, yeah, so or a rank, and you have your own two pieces, then an attack can happen. And that is a disco. That is a discovered attack. Sorry. And when he has two pieces, when you have your one piece and opponent's two pieces, then that, that is a pin. So that's the difference between disco and a pin. But it is discovered attack. We have just made it short for the commentary to have some fun. It's disco. So h4 has been played and what a nepo rook sack. Okay. Guys, you only tell me. Maybe let's do a poll over here. Uh, e4, e4 to see Nepo and d4 to see other games. So only thing. E4 for Nepo, d4 for other games. You only decide. E4 for Nepo or d4 for other games. Why should I even think? Because if we are looking at a game with 3,800 people, then you should be the one to think. E4 for Nepo is winning so all of you if you want to see the other games then please vote for d4 or whatever else okay nepo is clearly clearly winning the poll so based on the demand of the chat we have to go to nepo's game rook e1 has happened knight e1 has happened can we try to break down this position once let's first count the pawns one two three four five six six pawns with nakamura one, two, three, four, five. Five pawns with Nepo. So Naka having one extra pawn, but of course we'll count other pieces. Queen for queen, bishop for bishop, knight for knight, knight for knight. So we can see Naka has one extra pawn and rogue and 
that is against this bishop so exchange and a pawn up so materially naka is doing fantastic the computer should have said the evaluation bar should have just roared for naka saying that he is winning but what is it that he makes his position uh, completely just equal what is it is there any perpetual or is there anything this is preparation i think we should also check this preparation uh, but black to player computer says black must find good moves because if black doesn't find we already know materially he is completely gone so then practically it becomes diffi more difficult for nepo to play such a position as a joint leader has he taken a risk or is he completely confident about his preparation black to play what are you going to do guys black to play oops wait yeah now now you can answer black to play by the way no games have been played in this um, towards the end this where we have reached right now at this point we, no games so let's see what the chat has to say here queen f5 and queen e6 are the moves which are suggested computer says queen e6 so ajay jogi pet ankur shivom ayush neeraj yes well done but let's understand the move which yeah by the he played queen e6 he did play queen e6 he at immediately naka makes the next move with he's used only 5 minutes and look at nepo's time nepo is down to 1 hour 23 minutes so this was attacked the even knight is attacked uh queen e2 is also a check queen f2 looks like some mating attack solid mating attack in fact queen e2 check you don't even care about this queen f2 check and queen g1 mate you are threatening a checkmate in three moves so naka firstly doesn't think and stops queen e2 so queen d3 check uh nepo will go back in g8 and once again he will revive his threat of attacking this e1 knight the knight will go back to f3 and still it's not clear what's happening because no perpetual idea let's say this knight on b8 what is he doing if he wants to bring it in the game with knight f6 why doesn't he have time to play b3 oh look at this a move like b3 where you feel like you want to develop the bishop and bring the rook quickly because that's your material advantage there you want to get it on the open file it's a bad move what is the reason so highly complex game yeah this one is highly complex game harish that 19 oh uh, yeah harish oh we should look at his game once in a while hikaru winning is a little too much no 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 hikaru is not winning they are very much in the preparation in fact look at this guys if i show you if i show you the opening which they played the crazy opening which is happening on the board at this point bishop c7 is also fine which happened then g3 was played oops g3 was played this move is not played much if you see g3 has been played very rarely but ese penko has played hans niemann also has played okay yu yangi has played so few games but has been played a5 now this one is novelty by nepo a5 has not been played before but nakamura is prepared it seems he goes knight bd2 we don't have games here at all so just to show you that there are no games here let's go back and b3 is a mistake because yes bishop f5 good good guys that's the move bishop f5 attacks the queen the queen doesn't have a good square if the queen leaves the e file then there is this problem as we have decided queen f2 queen g1 mate you can't do that and the queen will have to go back to f1 once the queen goes back to f1 a beautiful move for black black to play this might be the final question for this position and then let's move to the other games as well black to play beautiful move
Oh, Avinash, Avnish Kumar Singh has contributed 1046 rupees two minutes ago on Help Chess and is 1166th believer. So maybe we had another believer also in between. I did, I will read his name, but thank you so much, Avnish Kumar Singh, for your contribution. And also, I think he writes over here. Avni says, contributed via help chess. I got my salary today and I felt like contributing. I appreciate the effort. Thank you. Thank you so much, Avnish. That's very kind of you. <laughs> Absolutely. Ush, we have Shatnik in the chat who, you know, puts this problem of the day, uh, this beautiful studies. Um, amazing knight f4 is the move the idea is bishop h3 x3 you winning the queen over here so that is the idea so knight f4 very powerful move if the king goes back now jumps in this bishop so the whole idea is you can see the one move which was so natural wanting to develop the bishop has caused very quick attack with the black pieces the piece activity is incomparable that is the composition which nepo is playing for so it a game which we thought would just completely fizzle out is into joint lead. He is saying that no, I am well prepared and I will try my best to make it as complex as possible. So this, all of this would create a lot of problems for white. So queen d3 check has been played. Will Nepo go king g8 or is he already out of preparation? We don't know because he might go bishop f5. Okay, let's move to next games because this one was interesting and we got the hang of it what's happening there with it after queen e7 was played bishop e3 already saying that i want i'm ready to exchange there and bishop e3 fe3 a big change in the pawn structure has happened where white has now two pawn islands after this exchange f file has been opened you better take care with knight g5 ideas over here so b6 played with this is like i don't really care i just want to develop my bishop and Nijat says, okay, you may be planning long castle. Let me also start preparing some attacks. So a3 was played over here. Bishop b7 and b4 is played. According to Nijat, what he's trying to do is with the bishop on b uh, on this diagonal, he knows that at some point c5 is a move which black would want to play. So that's why he's also gone b4. And he, by doing that, he also stops knight c5 ideas so a5 with it says a5 he's is he going to long castle or not now he's really confusing because until now we were thinking of long castle idea and which was very much possible over here but with it has gone with this move a5 which maybe says now with it doesn't have any ideas to long castle firstly this is under attack so white has to think what is to be done because if ninja takes the pawn on a5 absolute happiness for black rook to come to a5 focus on this isolated pawn the queen is still like you know dreaming of that since a long time so this is something in fact we remember the rook on a5 against nepo where with it had played rook a5 rook b5 rook b3 but that one was really suffocating whereas this one is completely feeling the freedom so not b a5 but then this is attacked you can't go rook b1 you can go, but then you are at some point whenever exchanges happen, white, black is again happy with the control of the A file. So, rook B1 is a possibility. Yes, and one final thing, if you feel like looking at the move B5, again, once more, black is very happy to dissolve such a doubled pawn. And here you can see the difference between the minor pieces, knight, two knights versus knight and bishop. So, this... Also, the pawn structure doesn't seem good for white. So, knight e2 played by Nijat. A nice move there. Knight e2. One question to you guys. What happens if you take, take, queen takes b4? What is the problem? White to play. Vidit cannot take the pawn because of... Nepo has blundered. Oof. Oh my goodness. Bishop f5. He's gone directly bishop f5 or what? 
no i did not hear the blunder alert actually but uh, let's go there because that's a big one because nepo is the leader and yes queen a7 the queen enters so this pawn really doesn't matter now white uh, black with the king in the center definitely facing some issues so with it basically cannot pick up the pawn so knight e2 a nice classy move by nijat let's quickly go to nepo and nakamura's game because queen d3 check he had to go king g8 the he had to go king g8 which would have also kept his chances alive of you know this flexibility principle which rinath had mentioned when do you want to go bishop f5 at which point but bishop f5 naka goes queen f1 this time you don't have a move like knight f4 because queen takes f4 oops no 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 not queen f4 actually not oh my god i forgot about the bishop very sorry what a big not even big blunder guys it is like a big 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 horrible blunder so knight f4 you just go king h1 that's the point <laughs> okay so bishop f5 queen f1 still yes he must have made a mistake but the position is not like nepo is losing or something it favors white a little bit more uh because while we were looking at this move king g8 we we checked knight knight to f3 but we did not consider a queen f1 for what reason what's happening for queen f1 oh it's not so simple black to player if queen f1 what would you have played Ninat Shukla super chats for the third time and says this is for VD Prag Gukesh Ampi and Vaishali are Ninat thank you it's amazing sniper says i always watch highlights of this tournament but today i got the chance watching it live by sacrificing my sleep you will get the compensation for the sacrifice <laughs> Sneha is giving some nice suggestion to Rakshit. Yes, let me just see who all have got the answer. Bish, oh many, many of you. I mean, it was a tough move. So sixteen people is good. Rohan, Prabhu, Ashutosh, Just, Chiru, Anmol, Akshay, Hani, Shivam, Preet, and Rohit. Kya baat hai yar? Bishop e two, and the queen is. completely struggling to find to find what its career yeah queen h1 as you can see at least it's not getting trapped but such a queen yeah you don't like such a queen queen on h1 is just you we don't have to analyze what's happening what can happen what cannot happen let's not even go there it's not getting trapped but uh, yeah in general you don't want to allow bishop e2 so that's the reason the bishop on g4 was very good so bishop f5 is a slight inaccuracy i would say i wouldn't call it a blunder i would call it a slight inaccuracy and the queen goes f1 but the position they are playing is very tough the it's bold to you know go into such a position already so and especially for nepo because he is saying that i am an exchange down and a pawn down and i yet i am ready to fight such a position on the board he's down to 1 hour 11 minutes that is almost 40 minutes down and if nakamura today if you look at the result uh, the standings in fact if i keep the standings here for a while so that yeah then nakamura is on 3 points if he beats nepo nakamura will also go on 4 points it will get such a uh, you know competitive competitive thing in the open section wow okay let's come back here why not knight f4 because this oh this yeah why not knight f4 because king h1 i showed that king h1 himang says ben fine gold would call this position losing for both sides at the same time <laughs> kya baat hai yes okay let's go to which game is most interesting you guys let me know i'll quickly in if at all i miss anything vidit after a5 92 he is thinking 
Pragnananda, I find this game very interesting. Uh, the opening French has happened. Can you believe advanced French has happened? I had asked. I don't know if uh, you guys answered and I did not read it. But is it the first French game in the open section Do we have? <laughs> yes, Jake. Even I don't know where you're going with that. But Queen E2 has been played after G6. So Karuana says no H4 business right now. He's gone Queen E2. He's still keeping his king in the center. And if no, there is no way he's going to consider Long Castle. Just impossible. But uh, Prague can just continue developing his bishop to g7. White will castle. Like looking at this move, I'm guessing white will castle. Black will castle. And now uh, the plan has to be thought of because white will have number of ways. One is that to double on the c file, eventually exchange on c file, that would be one. Another would be trying to still try for h4, h5 on the dark squares which are weak. That could be one. What else? Because normally f4, f5 is one of the ideas. But in this scenario, I don't think uh, that should be uh, very easy. Also a break which black keeps in mind is f6 break in the center. If that happens, a successful f6 break can really make some weaknesses over here but it is again not a very easy break to get you know a successful break what i mean to say is so queen e2 on the board and prague is thinking uh by the way karuana has thought quite a long time in fact he had one hour 44 minutes he thought for around 14 to 15 minutes and played queen e2 pragnananda uh also has one hour 34 minutes so time wise things are in control 16 moves have been played Let's go to Gukesh's game. That's where everyone wants to go. Gukesh. What is happening here? H4, knight, bd7 was played. And rook, h3. I am a little bit stunned right now. That's why I think... I couldn't say anything because I did not expect such a move. Of course, it looks very interesting. And what White is essentially saying is that, look, if you take on F1, I am anyway ready to do artificial castle where my king is going to go to G1. And normally my rook has to go into a lot of hard work with rook E1, rook E3, rook G3. Why to go through all of that when you have rook H3 right now? This is what Ali Reza is saying. So... Either way, he's not really broken his castle as such because his king will go there. So, rook h3. But Gukesh is not going to take on f1. That is for sure. Gukesh is going to see next move rook g3. Is that the threat? Though the rook looks slightly misplaced at this early hour because when rook is on g3, you also have to be a little careful, a little bit careful about knight h5 ideas. I sense... Uh, that firstly, hats off to Ali Reza because in spite of yesterday's loss, he is still right there trying to play creative chess. This is something which is a very important quality which Ali Reza has. And that's why many times he's going, he's able to create some brilliant masterpieces. For Gukesh, uh, I think with the black pieces, as we saw, yeah, he's not got any big opening preparation which he for he, he had to has to really get out of the opening problems or something which is a very good news being a joint leader and being black it's a very good news so rook h3 let's see what gukesh how is he going to continue here Guys, by the way, on the right side, uh, I have the standings, the current standings where Gukesh and Nepo on four points. Right now, Gukesh seems solid, but Nepo seems to be having a, having a shaky position. Karuana and Prague, they are having another solid French defense happening on the board. So maybe as you guys were, you know, expecting or predicting a draw there, if, if it, everything happens according to the prediction of the chat, 
Then uh, Karuana and Prague reach four points. Nepo, if he loses, uh, given the current scenario, if he loses, he will also stay on four points. Nakamura will also be on four points. Bapre, too much of Janta on four. And with it, uh, according to Chat's prediction, with it beats Nija. Then with it also on four points. So if Gukesh manages to draw or beat Ali Reza, Gukesh will become a sole leader. Whereas everybody else, almost all of them, will be just on four points. Just, you know, uh, in a way, Gukesh in the center, everybody surrounding him with four points. That would be so funny. Completely funny. If Ali Reza beats Gukesh... Prague draws and with the twins, everyone will be at four. <laughs> yeah, I think except for top six players will be at four and uh, Ali Reza and Nijat will be on uh, different points. But that's another scenario. So in general, I think in, can uh, in this candidates, the standings are being very funny. Very good, Saunabo. Good to know. Keep playing. Guys, do you, when you're watching candidates, does it happen to you that you're feeling more inspired and you're playing more chess? Or has it happened completely ulta that you're watching more and you don't feel like playing? How, how is it? How is the scenario like with you? Chess boy predicts Gukesh is gonna win. First one. So, Rook H3. Very interesting move happening over here Gukesh is thinking he he has to find what he will do yeah we will come back here you can maybe guess some moves for some some move for Gukesh which you guys can predict and then we let's move to another game shining material says I played my first brilliant move after watching with its game wow that's so cool you should let him know CA ke exams hai me me. Sagar bhai ko bulao. <laughs> so that he will be uh, right now teaching you CA. CA ke lessons. Kavita says, yes, I am playing consist consistently since last week. Watching chess. Playing chess. I play but I lose. That's fine. I am unable to play. I am just enjoying watching. And then also learning what they are doing. Even though I am just 1400. Says Adarsh. That's nice. Yes, every player plays with each other. So, Bishop E7, Guke says, okay, I don't care. I'm very calm. I'm just developing my Bishop over here. If you come Rook G3, it's a blunder because as we have seen, you lose material. Uh, if you go Rook G4, can I not go F5 or what? Yeah, I can go F5. So, that is, you don't really threaten Rook G3 immediately. I feel, my prediction is, ki this Rook, in this game would be um, would make Ali Reza Rook. Ali Reza Rookega because of the Rook. So I believe that Gukesh will you know either maybe imagine if Gukesh beats Ali Reza and everybody else you know reaches four points then Gukesh will have a sole lead by one point which would be so huge in candidates that would be insane. So, this game very important. Bishop e7 on the board. We will come back here. Let's go to Vidit's game and see whether he made a move. Yes, after 92, he shot castled. He thought for around 13 minutes and then he shot castled. Knight g3 has been played. Still, White is saying that I don't care about this pawn because even now, if you are taking this pawn, you have a problem. And, guys, what is the problem here? Maybe let me just help you. You just stay here. And now what is it that white would like to go for? What is the spawn sacrificer all about? What is Nijat's? What is Nijat's idea? Chat me pure CA's uh, because Mira CA final, Mira CA intern. <laughs>
यस एनी वन जे ई वाले एक्चुअली इमेजिन देर इज सो मेनी पीपल यूर इन द चैट वर डूइंग सी ए वर डूइंग जे ई वर डूइंग सो ऑल ऑफ यू वाई डोंट यू गैज मीट अप फॉर प्लेइंग चेस लाइक यू कैन यू कैन प्लान इन अ वे दिस वे यू बीट यू फर्स्ट स्टडी टूगेदर and then uh, one hour you study and then you play two three blitz games and then again you study and then you play so you playing with each other some few games of chess and you studying together so would be the best uh, thing to do no <laughs> and morgot says then we fail then we will fail exams are how will you fail exams because when you are studying together you completely focused on studying okay the move here in the meantime also to not forget what was suggested was knight g5 and d4 and knight d knight f5 idea as chat was a little bit confused or they were thinking about their studies but knight g5 definitely what white is banking on are the knights and the fact that the bishop on b7 is currently useless absolutely useless yeah it's like a granite against the bishop uh, there is no point for the bishop to attack or to become active so in a way white knights are definitely good they're jumping here the queen is jumping you uh, with it is not going to feel greedy and go after the pawn so he goes g6 rightly so and whenever you know that there is a knight and there are these two squares when we push the pawn the squares of the knights knight is taken away so g6 controls this yet the problem is there might be sacrifice ideas all the time so you will have to still be alert queen d2 played by nijat now now he says he is anyway defended the b4 pawn and he goes queen d2 so vidit is uh, thinking what to do he is really low on time with 14 moves only played he has to really speed up vidit come on speed up Let's go to Prague's game. Look at what he's gone for. H five. I like this move. Amazing move. What a move. Ah, uh, today Shrinath will not be able to join the stream. Uh, he has to wake up early tomorrow. That's what he mentioned. Oh, Rishab says. By the way, Narendra Khandekar, a few minutes ago, has uh, contributed on a help chess big amount, thousand and two rupees. Thank you so much, Narendra Khandekar, for always being a support. He's contributed before also, so very kind of you. And we have eleven sixty eight believers. We have eleven sixty eight believers. Um, can you believe that? <laughs> and we also had Kunal Limkar, who had contributed before Narendra Khandekar. uh so thank you kunal we had avnish kumar singh today and we had vipul kothiyal so lot of lot of uh, contributors on help chess we have reached 1168 and maybe today our goal is 1175 let's see if we can reach that also for the subscribers we have reached 15 lakh 30,824, and we want to reach 31,000. Whether we can do it or not, guys, it all depends on you. So do subscribe if you like uh, what our Indian players are doing. Hey, yay! Look who's there! Awesome. You can have you... to hide one. I've come with two. One is my sound. One is my video. So you can hide the one without video. परफेक्ट Hello, Sagar Shah. Sagar Shah, Sagar Shah, you 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 banned from eating when you come to the stream because we all feel hungry then. <laughs> How are yeah, you? I no, 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 no. I am kidding. Come on, you can eat for sure. 
one fan brought today bakarwadi yesterday ನಕಾಮುರಾ <laughs> uh pragnananda going for french was so so interesting right uh, that he played the french defense vidit and abaso is that thing where vidit has to try and win today with black pieces and he's got some kind of a fight you know it's not a dead draw and gukesh ali reza is a crazy game because what is it h3 rook h3 by ali reza h4 sorry amazing right so that's why i am very enjoyable in the open section women's of course we'll have to also discuss but open is very interesting but yeah you were very right nepo naka we thought it would be a plain draw and all that but the game is super exciting you can like we can't miss that game it's such a game the tactics and finally we got the hang of it but sagar last move uh, where we analyzed maybe bishop f5 was uh, uh, not a slight inaccuracy so that's what yeah. nepo has played mm-hmm. So and what, it was better. Do you know something Moment funny? Played. Yeah. If today uh, the results happen like Nakamura beats Nepo, Prag and Karuana draw, Vidit beats Abaso, everybody is coming to four points. Okay. And if <laughs> Gukesh No, no, no. Prag will go to four and a half. No, Prag ah, is Ah, if Karuana yeah, draw, draw. Yeah, draw they okay. Will, uh, correct. And if uh, that's why if Gukesh beats Adhiriza he he can have a chance of being a sole leader by one point but uh, of course his black it's not so easy uh, for sure should we look at gukesh's game very quickly and you yes. tell me whether uh, the way in which ali reza has played is it very cool what he has done or is it just very risky no rukesh 3 is very different first of all i think very creative of ali reza because after what happened yesterday sometimes you are just wanting to play a little more simple chess but rukesh 3 i feel that this rook can easily get misplaced mm. it's highly possible so uh, can i ask a question to our chat and yes, see if they are please. all away so in this position if ali reza plays rook g3 why is that a mistake ho gaya par theek hai all those oh, you are answered already. before hmm oh, so, do you think i'm sitting here and i'm just eating and sleeping and watching a movie <laughs> well i thought uh, you might not have asked these questions because there's so many games going on when i'm alone there are less jokes there are all uh, you know tremendous chess bechare ho jate hain sab log <laughs> but yeah they are trying let's see how many answers we are getting and how many of the people are were very fast yeah. yes brilliant knight h5 manthan singh rakshit singh satnik are ice cold satyam shesha kavita pl cos and anand knight h5 amazing exactly. amazing you so, know amrutam hmm. Mm. so here i think clearly uh, oh but ali reza has played h5 right and he's telling uh, gukesh that i'm taking away that square from you okay yeah. but tell me after h5 he would still keep his pawn on h6 or uh, yeah that's why gukesh we instantly played h6 <laughs> gukesh said amrita i'm answering your question this is the move no brainer yeah for him at all this move h6 yeah and now amruta i think g7 has become a major weakness if you if you notice like if a rook comes there mm-hmm. but clearly it's not possible because the h5 pawn will hang so in a way you have to figure out how to attack as white maybe one idea is to put your knight on e5 because then you are opening up the g pawn like this you want to go like support h5 so that you want to go rook g3 rook g3 also g4 g4 rook g3 g5 later you know like this is more like this karokan structure if you rem- if you know in karokan these pawns are like this so end games might be dangerous for black 
but on the other hand black white king is going to remain in the center almost for sure because his both the rooks have moved are ha we never observe that both the rooks are moved as only thing yeah. if you take then it goes here but that's the reason gukesh is definitely not going to take on f1 he would be happy with this way queen bishop e5 queen b5 yeah the king stays in the center but what about a black king uh, you think yeah i think long castle is looking good like if at some point because if you play short castle the main issue is that uh, rook g3 and then there is pressure i felt but yeah also possible so i mean i feel gukesh has a lot of possibilities here and he can outplay ali reza in uh, in some way or the other so it's a good interesting game both can outplay but i feel gukesh is in better form nice you know shatnik says by the way ali reza is back from playing online blitz he might yes. be a bit yes. impulsive today actually he was playing online today um so i think he's already in this kind of mindset where he's trying to do different things to get into the flow but amruta one thing which we have to look at is vidit's game against abaso and i am a bit worried about vidit's time management yeah, like time no today yeah. it is i would definitely uh, be critical of it because sagar the position is not so demanding for him to use a time and when it will go demanding then it will become very difficult for him i think mainly what happened is when i went inside the room i felt like with it took it up to himself that he has to win today with abaso and when abaso instead of going b4 which he has gone in all his white games played e4 i think vidit got a bit sort of worried like now what to do because his main repertoire here is e4 e5 which is a very solid opening mm -hmm. and so he thought for 4 minutes before he responded with e5 for move one and then after knight f3 knight c6 bishop b5 again he took like i if you look at the time yeah. he took Six minutes, if I'm not mistaken, to play knight f6 Berlin. So, in a way, uh, with it said to himself in between the game that I am okay if my opponent wants to kind of play very solidly, like the rook e1 Berlin is generally a draw. Uh, but now Abbaso actually said, I want to fight. You know that is a good news for uh, with it fans. Because now it's a fight, and with it pushed this pawn c5, and Abbaso's last move queen c3. is a very interesting move because amruta he is giving up his b4 pawn but he is angling on to the c7 pawn so if you take here take here take here you going to yeah, take queen on c7 seven. and then the bishop is hanging and i felt like this is a good position for white nice so he didn't take with it played f6 right now. ah nice That's a good move. Actually, f six is generally a very useful move because you uh, protect the center, uh, and also, Amruta, if you take on c five now as white, yeah. then uh, I have knight and queen uh, holding there. So yeah, exactly knight c five. And if you take on a five instead of c five, then my rook will take. So overall, black has things covered here in this position, and. Uh, I I think this is going to be interesting because the position is sort of finely balanced. With it is low on time, Abbaso maybe gets a little bit ambitious here, and then something will start to move. Yeah, because I think uh, position wise, everything looks on dark squares with the nice bishop here. So if it goes in end game, if the position opens up, definitely slight edge for with it for that minor piece. Uh, and time fifty eight minutes. Uh, by the way, Nijat has one hour forty-two minutes. That is also okay, yeah, with fifty-eight minutes for such a position. If he keeps playing fast, finally, for yeah. he shouldn't land in ten moves in ten minutes. That situation. Correct. And if you saw Nuta, the analysis we did. Yeah. If White took on C five or A five, wherever he took, Black was getting a good position. So if with it now next move. Plays rook f c eight. Let's say white uh, plays rook f b one. Seems like a logical move to protect his b four pawn. And I go rook f c eight. I was thinking. Ah, you want to with the this. yeah, hmm. yeah, with the idea of taking c b four twice. I feel like black is making making some progress. You know, that's that's what the feeling I get. What do you think? 
no very interesting for me one more thing which looks tempting is at some point take stakes and going a4 whether you will have a protected passer no not protected because then uh, he yeah. might push b5 but yes it's a very good idea and option so i think this game is now uh, very interestingly poised because when one side cannot release the tension which is nijat cannot take on c5 take on a5 vidit can literally try and force him to do it and this is something with its uh, forte i feel wow you know one of the very now i understand one idea which uh, computer is says that black can go c6 idea and now i understand yes, that for... uh, why c6 can be good because he wants to go b5 and then as you said already that white cannot be the one to take anywhere c5 or a5 because then it helps black with the knight well, or the rook well once you play c6 amrita and the rook is on b1 then maybe b takes c5 is possible like uh, let's say instead of rook here, if you go if you go one move back instead of rook f c8 if i, I play c6, c6 here then, then b takes c5 because now what happens is b6 is weak and i cannot take with my knight so i take with the queen uh, on c5 no but and so queen c5 takes no? queen, and now you can't take with the pawn bishop is hanging and if you take with the knight and then b6 is hanging so got it yeah maybe c6 Also, Amrita, I was wondering if, let's say, here can White get really ambitious and push D four? We can, we can get. Can we look at other game also, Sagar? And we can come yeah. back here. Sure. Uh, people yes. want to see Prague's game because. Um, let's go to Prague's game. Yeah, let's go to Prague's game. H five, Bishop D two was played after H five. I really love this move, by the way, Prague's move H five. Why do you love it? Ah, just so that the knight can sit on f five and cannot be taken no with g four. There is no g four. Yeah, and also sometimes there is h four, h five, h five when your bishop is on g seven. You don't want it after h five. Maybe he also can develop the bishop on h six. I'm not sure though. Bishop g seven looks more natural. Ah, but, uh, but you know, I I want to I want to salute and tip my hat to Pragna Nanda's bravery here. Um. You know, I was there uh, today. So basically, I go inside the hall. I have ten minutes, and I have to choose one of the three games to capture the initial moment, right? Because I am just one person. I cannot capture all three together. So I decided I will be on the Prague versus Karuana board because you know both world number two Prague here and so on. So I stood there. Karuana plays e four, and Prague is thinking, and you know he brings his hand to the e pawn, and I was like, okay, another e four, e five today. And he plays e six, and I was like, "Wow! How can Prague, this guy, come up with new openings every single game? And how does he manage to sort of uh, take so many risks here? I think Prague has come with this great mindset that I have to risk it. Like I don't have to play in my comfort zone." Wow, beautifully said. Because I was asking the chat whether this is the first French game in uh, men's section. I thought so because I don't. At least I don't remember. Uh, so Prague going for that against Karuana, who is theoretically super solid, uh, says so much about him. He just complete brave art. In fact, we have a question, Sagar, to you, Sahil Batra. Sagar, you have been observing our players closely for a long time. Which of our yeah. five Indian players in the candidates have shown a whole new body language and increased confidence? Uh, I feel like each one has come to this event with a very clear mindset to win, and I have seen this in the previous candidates that there are some players who do not come with the intention to win; they just come to hold, you know, like they just come to perform well. Because the prize money is not bad. Remember, yeah. with every half point you score, you earn three and half thousand uh, euros in addition to the main prize money. So that is an incentive. But I see that all three, Prague, Gukesh, and Vidit, in their own way, are gunning for that first place. That is the beautiful thing. Like no one here has come to sort of say, "Ha, yes, I will perform well. I will go back with." Third, fourth place. I will make some fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, nice life, you know, that way. <laughs> yeah, so cool. Just winning is the most important thing here for them. But they're yeah, not even and, have and, to think about winning, like while they're playing, because to keep that very separate, uh, because otherwise it becomes very result oriented. And these players have reached the top because they were not. They are not result oriented. 
sure i mean somewhere amrita a balance yes. has to be struck hmm. that you try for a result but at the same time detach from it so i'll i'd like to give you an example today which i was thinking about maybe if we have a couple of minutes so every day 2 o'clock media has to be stopped from entering the venue because uh, at some point the players start coming and media cannot enter so if i come later than 2 o'clock i cannot enter so today i was at the bus station at 130 actually 125 and bus takes roughly 10 minutes to reach so i would be very much in time what happened was buses got delayed and i was dropped at my uh, sort of place from where i have to walk a bit to the venue at 156 and it's actually a 5 minute walk there from there so um, at that point i realized that the result is not going to be in my favor right if i analyze because if i walk even the fastest 5 minutes is 201 but you basically have to give your best like i have to walk the fastest i can as much as i can and it doesn't matter if i make it or not make it but i must try and so i think this is similar to how everyone's playing here you know they all want to reach before 2 which is reach the first place but at the same time there's no point in constantly thinking whether you will make it not make it just give your best if you can make it great if you can't make it well what to do wow. so but after this hearing the story one more very big curiosity is whether you made it or no <laughs> i made it at actually 2 or 2 or 2 or 3 and somehow because it was raining they allowed me and i yeah, in the end me. it was like how ding finished second in the candidates yet got the world championship match <laughs> so similar to that oh nice very nice as sagar says you have to keep trying we we all know that that you have to keep trying but yet when it comes to the moment of trying is sometimes we do falter so that's important how to apply to make sure of that yeah shatnik so in the I chat w- says but among the three i feel it's vd who has truly reinvented himself oh, for sure but uh, you know all gukesh and everyone have been at such a high level uh, that they like to lead this tournament is just insane yeah i mean i'm i'm amazed by the way yeah, i was just yeah. checking one super chat sagar When super chat yep. by Akshay Natu, he says watching Vidit get in time trouble is like watching Virat trying to dab at the fifth stump outswinger. So annoying. Chess has started to make me feel more than cricket. Good sign or wow. bad? <laughs> well, I, well, I don't know what sign, but that is the natural thing which is happening, and uh, you know, Akshay Natu, you cannot do anything about it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was think I was seeing actually Pragna Nanda has played so many games with the French. In fact, at the Tata Steel recently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. I am missing it. Yeah. Recently, I think he is playing French. No, recently. Really? Mm. Once in a while. Yeah, I was just trying to. Um, Tata Steel see. must have played because I think I have seen. That's why maybe. Uh, somewhere i remember maybe prag maybe tata steel i don't know yeah i was just checking actually amruta pragnananda has if my database is correct has played only one game with french when, in his when? career when really then... yeah this was an online game he has never played the french no then how i don't believe it i use but your database then i have to believe it then i have completely Miss... Yeah, I'm just uh, I'm just using Mega Data 2024. After E4, E6 has been played only once in his career by Pragnananda. Maybe he has played online games, but no, they also are updated, right? Yeah, Until once. Days. Only once, man. Then that is an interview insane. you have to ask him because I think today Karuana would be then in a big surprise when Prag went for French. And also we have Abhinash Bharadwaj, big super chat. Kudos to Sagar Amrita and Chess Brand India for nurturing the Indian chess community and bringing in so much passion on the table. More power to you. you. P.S. Hashtag with it for the win. And that's his first super chat. So thank you, Abhinash. Uh, 
and thank Sagar. you avina while you are here we also have our 1169th believer veera manohar who has contributed on help chess so we started with 1164 today we have kept an aim, aim of 1175 uh, and we have kept an aim of uh, 1531000 subscribers so uh, we're moving towards it <laughs> Okay, so basically for subscribers we need only hundred and fourteen guys to click on subscribe. Guys, subscribe, कर दो. And for believers, I want to say that all the money that you will give here will go to Indian Chess, and we have this helpchess. dot org, which is ATG registered. So check it out, and we do some good work there, and I think your money will be well utilized there. Amruta. Yes. I. I want to um, also tell the people that tomorrow, most likely, we are launching Anish Giri's opening course for pre-ordering. Um, tomorrow is the next so day, if, but yes, ah. but tomorrow we are launching. So they have, they can buy it, and we will tell more about it. It will come cool. where we went. So I want to go to Prague's game. We are at Prague's and game, I, and Ramit also asks to... a question to you about Prague's game. Was Prague choosing the French against Karuana a good idea? As isn't French more or less all known territory? Well, the thing is, Ramit, all the openings in general are well known territory to these top players. What they are aiming for is that on the day of the game, if the opponent hasn't checked that specific line and you have checked it, the chances of you remembering all the nuances is much higher. and i think this is what the players are aiming for more than just saying that hey karuana may never have looked at french it is impossible like a player like karuana has looked at all the openings in his life but would forget it at some point so it's basically you are switching in a way like for example what he played with vidit pragnananda played this move f5 it was not like he thought vidit would have never prepared it he said vidit would not have looked at it on that day and when you have not looked at it on that day then you tend to forget that is very important but then in this particular line uh, even if karuana forgets it's not a very tactical or a sharp line yeah it can be figured but out then, on the board yeah you can figure out but then you can't get the advantage and this is exactly what has happened if you see mm. amrita prag has managed to equalize karuana has no problems he will make a draw perhaps but at the same time prag has chances now if you see Uh, let's ask our viewers which is the big weakness in white's camp which square is a weakness meanwhile amruta we have had so many believers Whoa. it has moved to 73 prashant nath had had just uh, 19 seconds ago he's given the contribution thank you prashant but what about other people yes we have, have mukul tiwari I have a live viewer here who is answering my questions. Who? Ask him here. Nice. I said which is the best, and he said D four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he he also comes in the chat sometimes and answers. I think Ask him. Kabi level candidates ke baad badi jaane wala hai. Oh, we have another Mukun Tiwari. Mukun Tiwari, Tiwari. exactly twenty one hundred. Then we had Prashant Nath three party five hundred and one. We had Saurav. Three hundred, Sumit Jain, hundred, Raju Akula, two fifty, Veera Manohar, hundred and one. Yeah. Thank you, thank you so much. We are one away from reaching our goal, Amruta. <laughs> yes. D four is a weakness pawn because it's not defended by a pawn. The square, another square which is weak is C four square because there. Once, let's imagine in a position like this, if you take bishop c six, like let's say black castles here, uh, you take bishop c six, rook c six. This is game over. Black is winning. Wow. Because now so you put new. your rook on c four, you put your other rook on c eight, and Prague is winning. So actually, for Karuana to keep that light squared bishop is of paramount importance. Amazing. just one wrong exchange can strategically completely change the position to a lost yeah, position just, you are you are busted because you have no counter play your knight is not having any squares to go to your the black's bishop prevents a rook from coming to the c file it's uh, it's just terrible so uh, so yeah 
here i would i would say personally that prague has a nice position it will depend a lot on karuana's um, um ambition here because if karuana says it's time to pull the brakes i don't want to fight anymore then i think this game will end in a draw but if karuana says hey let's fight you know i want to fight then this will be fun this is amazing you know karuana i think will take it slow and steady that is very important for him uh theoretically also he when he is not getting some chance to out prepare he'll with prag also you know people will be intimidated in some way maybe more than intimidated it's also about the position that is on the board what is in front of you has not gone that well and then at some point you readjust yourself like for example amruta you wanted to marry like a smart handsome rich guy and then you <laughs> sort of found me so you readjust your expectations and say okay uh, smart theek hai mil gaya handsome thoda baal kam hai rich to hai nahi banda so you know you kind of then negotiate with yourself and say okay i will settle with smartness only and that way then you live with it and why do you think you're so smart i <laughs> <laughs> I, i was thinking you would ask why do you think you are not handsome but yeah amruta that's uh, that's the thing uh, oh, you God, you are uh, looking so at hard. why is the glass half full not why the glass is half empty sorry you are absolutely. looking at why is the glass half empty not half full absolutely absolutely sagar and his analogy is op we miss it sagar shrinath at that day was remembering your uh, beautiful girls analogies and <laughs> i said i told him he's changed now he's a changed man like some i says i have become mature then <laughs> you know sagar has yeah yeah has matured in some other things by the way well. amruta yes we have hit our goal of health chess believers if we look we and, have actually surpassed by four people and we are getting a, i think i missed some super chats we've got a lot of super chats in the last few minutes brain buzz has and contributed we, sorry go on and we also have come very close to our 15 lakh 31000 goals so in a way <laughs> all the goals all goals are getting done for today wow so i uh, know there are more goals again for me that prag uh, the chats prediction today i did this prediction through chat chess moves initially and they have predicted prag karuana draw they have predicted vidit winning gukesh win and um, I think uh, Vaishali draw and uh, um, Pika, we, yeah, the game started so we couldn't really uh, complete it. But that these are the prediction. Based on that, if we found out it would be very funny. A lot of people on four points would be there. Okay, but I would read. Uh, I would thank Brain Bus for your contribution. Rohan Menon asks uh, in his super chat, who would have believed twenty years back that there would be three Indians playing in the candidates tournament? It's crazy how one thought in Vishy's mind to become a grandmaster years back. changed an entire country yeah yeah not just one thought but the consistency is very important see if you become a grandmaster and you are there for a few years it's not possible but because we she stayed at the top for 30 years various generations were inspired and then this generation broke through so you realize that uh, at at some point we had hari krishna who was extremely talented before him we had abhijit kunte who was extremely talented before that maybe shashi kira and you know we had all these people who were extremely talented but they couldn't break through to the candidates and this is the generation which did it so yeah long you have you had you also need the longevity uh, longevity sorry amazing okay yeah. by the way amruta uh, Yeah, please go on. Please finish the super chats. Yeah. Yeah, Infinite oh, yeah. Singh uh, super chats. Why is Prag so much more popular than Gukesh? However, as we know, Gukesh is the most favorite to have a chance for the challengers. I think, um, let's say in general population who don't follow chess, I would say Prag is more well known than Gukesh because of the surrounding stories around Prag. Like for example, uh. from a very young age there was more media coverage there was also you know uh, he has a sister who's playing chess um and and also his mother is very famous as a chess personality of late um but in chess circles i would say in the chess community 
there are people who love gukesh there are people who love prag and i think it's a very very equal thing so yeah at the end of the day i think uh, it's just right now something which is fluctuating who is more popular and so on and uh, maybe in a few months someone else becomes popular someone reaches the candidates wins it i mean wins the candidate that person gets much more. so you can never be sure that huh, as of now maybe prag Uh, because i know this for a fact that when i go on the streets of mumbai or any other city people do talk about that we know pragnanvida morya yeah, that's true but who knows what will happen next deepankar sachdev says magnus if he played in the current candidates will not be the favorite to win maybe he will be still but uh, but uh, he will not easily win because everyone is well prepared everyone will give him a tough fight Yes, and we have a new member, Roy, who has become the backer of the uh, Indian Chess. So, thank you, Roy G. <laughs> thank you so much. By the way, uh, I'm yeah. uh, I'm I want to go to the game of Prague very quickly and see the last move he has played, which is Queen to E seven. After castles has been played by both sides, yeah. Queen E seven has been played here, and I feel like right now, um. If Karuana, see, you can't go to C one. That is the most natural move you want to play, right? My my hand went to that, but Bishop takes C one. Just blunders. So. Door kahi kahi door din dal jaye. This is Asim. This is this is the reel. Yeah, you you know Asim has all these reels in which the bishop goes from a long distance and kills something. So he many times shows Burj Khalifa as the bishop. So uh, you know. <laughs> someone playing in canada goes to uae and that bishop that building is the bishop uh, but this bishop on h6 is something like that it is looking at c1 not letting a rook come in um so maybe here white has to figure out what to do if you don't get the c file maybe rook a2 is the move to come to c2 but are you uh, so desperate to come on c file well if If C file is the open file, then ah. the rooks long for it, right, Amrita? You know what Prague's idea with Queen E seven is? He mm, wants to play no. one smart move. Don't say move. G five, please. No, 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 not yeah. G five. Smart move. He wants to do a smart move. A five. Yes, because we know that this cannot be actually, and then he is attacking this B four guy, making him a little bit of a weakness over there. So a five is true, a smart true. move. That's the reason. Let's go one move back, and Karwana has a good move over here. White to play. Karwana has a good move. White to play. We all. It's not play. easy. It's not, not easy. No, that's why. And Amrita, we have hit fifteen lakh thirty one thousand subscribers. Goal ho gaya. Chalo, jaate sone ko saagar do baj gaye. Aaj jaldi all over. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Don't you give me that look. I'm. You here. know, Amrita. Today I felt like uh, my eyes. I couldn't see clearly in the morning. I don't know why. I was maybe lack of sleep. Very tired. But now I'm slowly doing this live commentary, and I'm feeling much better, and I'm feeling more. So, if you are going to sleep, then I will continue the live commentary. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Who's gonna make the moves? No, 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 no. I how can we leave? How can we leave and sleep while our guys are playing over there? These boys. These okay, boys. Amrita, I want to I want to quickly uh, have a recap also of the women section. Uh, so you tell me a lot of things to do before you go. I mean, if you're not planning to go, that's awesome. If you're planning to go, then we have lots of super chats. We have lots of help chasing him. We have lots of analysis. So what do we do? Let's first finish the analysis. Then keep in mind that you have to go through the super chats and names. Okay. Let's first go to the game. Let's so start with Mukesh. So the move here, you're like in the move I had asked uh, to the people. Ah, yeah, 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 white. So that is important to check. I don't know if our chat just moves. Uh, this was old one. So some people did find the move Bishop A six. Mantha yeah, Singh, I, we are taking to a normal Mayang. I didn't see the point of it. No, I didn't see the point of it because rook c seven. What did you gain? And now you, I stopped a five. That is why I went back one move, right? To stop a five. Yeah. So a five is a power. Go oh, he eight. goes bishop a six. He goes okay, bishop a six. Okay, rook c seven. Nice, nice. Rook c seven, rook a two. 
जस्ट रुके टू पर रुके टू नाइट बी एट बिशप डी थ्री and now uh, rook c8 and now here maybe white has to do something else apart from rook c2 but i i, I like prax position quite a lot because a5 is coming in rook c3 is coming in Actually, nice position great here. position for karuan against karuana to get such a position which is comfortable i playing french yeah I'm playing french remember karuana is one of the best theoreticians in the world even better than magnus often people have said so uh to get something of this sort with black after first 20 moves brilliant brilliant pragopi ho jaye chat mein ek baar so pragopi which game now you want to quickly go to maybe we can okay. have uh, also this game yeah nepo oh. is still very solid here after knight h1 he's managed to somehow uh, you know knight g1 was played now knight g1 has been played and there I'm, you go as I'm, i said so confused amruta in this game the reason is that white is an exchange and pawn up imagine this you are three points up at this point the only thing that is in black's favor are the light squares and development black white's rook is completely out of play but even king yeah the king is weak uh, uh, around the pieces black's pieces and by the way i, I had this nice uh, variation here Uh, if white goes king h1 uh, looks like not a great <laughs> move then bishop e4 check knight takes e4 queen takes e4 queen oh, g2 wow let's have the chat let's have the chat let's have at least guys, 200 people answering this guys just for the fun guys. of it 100 people how much 200 huh yeah let's go for 200 people to answer this come on okay okay, okay let's go then 200 I'll tell how many have answered already. Forty already. And the speed is increasing. It's beautiful. It's nice to nice to see. We are reaching almost hundred. Wow! Look at the speed. Asim, boy, mil gaya kya? <laughs> He's also looking at the screen. Do you have a screen over there, kya? Yeah, it's my laptop. Ah, got it. And there we go. We are almost about to reach two hundred people wow. finding the beautiful checkmate. If we ask the people who wrote King F K F two, thinking that knight is K, I think we will reach two hundred. <laughs> We reached. We reached. मजा आया. बहुत ही सही था ये मेड. This check made was so guys. cool. Nice up to nice check made. Let's okay. Go. Huh. So here, I would say Hikaru is doing like you know there is this surgeon who is performing this surgery who has to make every move correctly, and then the patient would be alive. The patient is the white king. But if one mistake, and the patient is dead. So here, Hikaru has you know if the doctors can say with certainty that Hikaru has high chances of Hikaru's king to survive here, but very very important to play accurate. Ah, so I thought the same thing was majorly for black. So you find this position easier for black to play. I think black has easy flow because the knight is coming to e4, bishop is coming to e4, bishop on c7 is active, but. it's like this right uh, that black has reached the maximum potential of his position while white can slowly unravel we have to see how this happens but for now it for is very now, clear karu is 
the surgeon that's very clear <laughs> let's see if ikaru is able to uh, uh, save his king maza aayega i think in the move he will play is knight d f3 now opening up the bishop and if he can maybe at some point put his knight on e5 maybe he will give up a pawn and a trade one piece then get the bishop out bishop d2 maybe somehow bring the other rook bring the rook to e1 but black will himself jump with his knight on e4 got it oh he played queen e2 right yeah he played queen e2 okay so uh, this is very complex this game stays very complex we'll go to which game right now 94 piruza piruza gukesh oh he played a4 after it's h5 h6 was played we left from here so a4 now gukesh takes the bishop king f1 and gukesh simply castles king g1 queen goes to c6 this is the position we are having on the board yeah in a way uh, firuja has found a home for the king you know uh, to each king his own somehow managed to walk his way to g1 the black king is well placed uh, right now it feels like black needs to find a way to create play and the most common way to create play in such positions is to play a6 and b5 now let's just see after you play a6 b5 white will take you take back and then you push the pawn even further one more square b4 and this is known as the minority attack this is what gukesh could be angling for in such a position uh, on the other hand ali reza's plan is pretty clear he wants to maybe go at some point 95 and use his king side pieces like knight bishop rook queen to launch a mating attack on the black king Gukesh will uh, resist, you know. He won't give it, give that easy turn. Amazing! No, this is a great explanation so, of this position. So it stays right now. We would assess it as complex, equal. What would you leave it as? Yeah, it's very complex because you know, Amrita. If I play, start with black as a six. Suppose just blunder alert. Wait a second, because Rakshit has you know added this blunder alert. Did you hear any sound? I didn't hear anything because I'm on Zoom call. I maybe the viewers but, uh, would have heard. But where has the evaluation changed a lot? Because they did mention some blunder alert. One moment, let me just make sure if VD game did anything happen in VD game. Hikar, maybe not sure. Hikaru's game. Okay. Uh, if there is no no everywhere, it's right now somewhere. It must let it was Hikaru's game. game. But we have to check that. So that is fine. So this game is complex. Now Prague's game is Prague is very comfortable. Rook c7 is played with its game after queen c3 he played f6. We saw this rook f b1 happened and here vd played a move rook f7. Uh, yeah, I, I think he's just taking the square for the knight in future. He wants to go to f8 in e6 because the knight belongs there always in such mm -hmm. lines. But because the pawn is on e3, maybe that is not a very good square for the knight. So. It's not very clear uh, as to whether the knight belongs where. No, but, Sagar, uh, what Vidhi is Vidhi is doing is something <laughs> something very different. Yeah, so yeah. knight d two he played h five, right? H five. He's going for an yeah, attack. Very surprised. That's why maybe he's very even. Surprised. It's and and I thought you know such a move might be weakening. And computer evaluation will change, but computer evaluation has just not changed. In fact, H four and the knights which were so active suddenly they are going to have some trouble. Knight comes back to F. He went back. Yeah. He, because I think Amrita, his idea was to put the knight on C four uh, instead of F three. If we can play knight C four with the threat of B takes A five was his idea, but this does not work, does it? No. It doesn't because you have H four also. There is A B four also can take, but H four, I think is H4, way more natural. H four knight F one. Now A B right. Now I mean you can always play A B, uh, and the computer is always liking after the A B A B rook A rook A one takes you take the pawn and win the pawn. And now the C seven pawn is not hanging, so the knight was uh, badly placed on C four. But, so, but you know, just to add here, even if you ignore winning the pawn here. Even a move like H three is very powerful. Yeah. Because with the rook here, 
let's not forget f5 idea and the bishop true true and that's why nijat abbas also said hey you pawn on h5 you're not stepping ahead i'm playing knight f3 so now the pawn is not going ahead amruta hey, but, but yeah yeah tell me at the same time i have a feeling that here with it he is gaining some kind of a momentum because he can now move his king just a thought somewhere bring the other rook or maybe shift his rook to h7 this one already and then try for h4 still wow i like it amazing this was out of nowhere yeah what with it played f6 rook f7 and h5 no, it is playing what well cool but... cool plan never imagine yeah. such a plan the only problem is with it is taking <clears throat> a lot of time but he's using the time well to find good moves this is not just good moves it's a completely different mindset which he has got on the board uh, at this point so uh, let's look at this game again and again because it will get very exciting we have seen all four games in the open so yeah. if we have to summarize prag is comfortable with firuja vidit is doing well against abaso yeah. gukesh is fine against firuja and naka is slightly pressing against nepo Now let's go to the women section and let's have a look at the game of Ampi versus Anna Muzicu. No, first let's first look at the game. Let's tell our viewers that today is the most important game in the women section between late between Goriachkina and Tan Zhongyi, because Tan Zhongyi is the leader of the tournament by half a point, four and half out of six, and Goriachkina is half a point behind her. and if we look at the position we will see that white who is alexandra goriachkina has a slightly better structure because of her pawns and she is slightly pressing not much because black rook is active and that's the reason why i feel the game will end in a draw and tan jongi will keep her half point lead okay so so that was one thing let's go to the game whose game have you put up So I just uh, showed Lano is having slight better with Nurgul. That's uh, the current okay. position. Moving to Hafiz. you know, but a very funny uh, thing happened. Nurgul has two seconds here. Gokar Khan, Ka Gokar Khan Chem, and uh, Ivan Cheparino, and they were both in the fan zone. So I saw them. Then I came up, and then I saw uh, Hikaru versus Nepo game, and I was looking at who are the players who have played this line. Turns out. that these two seconds played against each other this same line g3 move and they played and so then i went down again and i interviewed both of them based on this game and so on oh, wow. so and yeah and here the move g3 yeah which was like played very less yeah this in the opening g3 move yeah, which was five the five people had played five six few people had played seven eight yes oh. so one of the game was chepper you know white versus gokar khan Okay. so which is very interesting nice, nice okay let's go to the game of humpy versus anna muzichuk today very important game for both of them because they both have been struggling slightly in this tournament for now it seems like the position is slightly favorable to white but i think anna has it's a very important moment amruta h3 has been played the bishop is at because high. because if play bishop takes f3 humpy takes then rook takes f3 rook takes f3 queen takes f3 and i feel white is better here with the structure so humpy has to find a very crazy move let's ask our chat if they are able to spot it here black to play and amruta we've crossed 1100 believers on help chess is it true Eleven hundred to our pale no only we had eleven sixty four when we started ah eleven eighty two we we reached eleven eighty two so wow. the move move people have suggested is uh, bishop h three no well the only issue with bishop h three is that white will play knight to h four which will attack the queen <gasps> and the defend the pawn. And then the rook Queens. will capture the bishop. But if queen g ah rook uh, you support. Oh my god, that's actually a blunder. That's yeah, actually a blunder. blunder. Oh, that's a trick. So the move, right move, d four. Yes, beautiful move because now if queen takes d four, then takes and if <coughs> queen d four, then bishop f three wins a piece. <coughs> yep. 
So you have to play rook d3 here after d4. And I think this is now white can black can take bishop f3, I guess. Yeah, with, with the pawn on d4, uh, the position has changed drastically, it seems. Very, very surprising, yeah. Just the difference when the pawn is on d Even you got a one more extra. You can play maybe here rook d8, perhaps, Amruta. Just the pawn may have more potential in the central file. Yeah, you'll have to be still accurate. I think Humpy will have to be alert. What was the move, by the way, after queen f3 there? Oops, sorry. After what? Queen f3, the move is you can go queen c2 with counter. Wow. d3, d2. Yeah. So, the Humpy okay. actually is uh, having a decent position. Just that she has to be alert for this next 2-3 moves. Let's go to Vaishali's game against dating game. Because Vaishali's position is very, very symmetrical. And I think she should be very happy with the position she has. With two knights in the center, bishop. And uh, I like I like her position actually uh, here. It's not so simple for white to create too much play. Letting here is a great, great opening theoretician. Especially because she has Rajabo as her second, who is very strong. So Vaishali has held her own in the opening. Mm. Yeah, so this okay. one is fine with the black pieces. It's actually pretty recent again for Vaishali. And it's her type of position. Uh, anything can happen from this moment. It's not equal. Oh. Okay. So which uh, so we have covered, I think, all the games there. Finally, coming back to Gukesh's game. As you said, 95 happened on the board. And Gukesh has taken the knight. So we will see whether d5 or bishop e5 from Firuza. Uh, Pragnananda after rook c7, rook f d1 has been played by Karuana, and now knight b8 is a move which Sagar you were mentioning, and that is a nice move. Hmm? I was very keen to play knight yeah. b8 because just to double the rooks on the c file, and, and that, I kind of feel that's the best move. I think Prag will play that, and with it after h3. Oh, look at with its game. Actually, a lot of things are happening over knight f3. He went queen e6. Which is also mm -hmm. pretty interesting. Maybe he wants to go queen g4 or what? Uh, h3. Yeah, h3 is played to stop queen g4. And with it simply goes king g7. This looks like... What a plan. I love for the way Vidit has played Sagar. Because rook f... Once the rook comes to f8 and Vidit gets f5. Then this piece is a long term advantage. Big. Wow. I'm very scared to play f5, but you are right, Amrita. It might be the move that might at some really point. open. At some because point. Because the queen... I know. It's it's actually of such a double-edged move. Because mm -hmm. your king is in trouble, but your bishop also opens up. So, yeah. Because g5 you cannot play, right? Because if you play your pawn to g5 as black, the knight will settle down on the square next to... Yeah, h5 or f5 both become weak. Or, Sagar, another plan is to go rook h8. First, kick yeah. this knight away from g3. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because as we were discussing, Nijat can't kick your knight away. <laughs> <laughs> then, yeah. g5, I don't know is, if it is a possibility. But we must take care of... But d4 break I, uh, is very hard with the rooks on a1 and b1. So, with its position... You know, I really with it... For with it, what is the problem is his rook on a8 cannot leave there. It's like you know, it's like a uh a duty that the rook has a duty to defend a5. Because if it moves to h8, suddenly b takes a5 will come and it will open up the queen side in a big way. Mm. So with it will say, Okay, I will take first on b4, a b4 a b4 and then bring my rook to the other side but then the rook on a1 will enter on a7 and that is a very strong rook mm. right yes. so in a way with it is in a sort of a catch 22 situation in a very small way that by kare to kare kya uh, like my yeah, for my like rook he has, a, he has just joined uh, some company and he has a uh, contract to be working for a few months now he wants to leave. How can he leave? 
Uh, yes, Amruta, maybe you are talking about some of the people actually. Yeah. Okay. Uh, A4. Mm -hmm. A4 is the move I think with it might seriously consider because then the tension is lost and the rook can go to the other side. That being said, it also helps white in some ways because the pressure is not so much on the queen side anymore. So yeah, this is a very strategically tough game. And because there are active action happening on both wings, if a player loses his focus in some way, the other player gets the chance. So that is what we are actually looking for. What will happen next? Let's go quickly to the game between Yan Nepomnishi and and uh, for, uh, sorry uh, Nakamura. That's settled. Shall we? Shall we take a moment to read the super chat? Sorry. We have yes. Yes. Now you can. Now you can. Yeah. Please. Uh, wait a second. Let me just. We had. We had Mohit Ahuja who super chatted AED. Uh, great job, guys, rooting for an Indian to win this and go on to become the world champion. We had Abhinav Bhatia who sent, who gifted a Chessbiz India membership. So thank you, Abhinav. Thank you, Abhinav. Vinze became the new latest backer of uh, Indian chess. So he's the new member. So thank you, Prathamesh. Thank you that our viewers, new viewers know if anyone becomes a member, this amount also goes to Indian chess players. We are sponsoring laptops with this amount to budding talents. We have traveled with Nikhil Roshan. Sagar bhai, aap mere contract killer banoge samai ko chess mein hara ke mera mod wapas dila ne ke liye. Usne life is, uh, is unfair kar diya mere saad unmod kar ke. Aapko taaj mein party dunga. <laughs> sure, uh, travel with Nikhil Roshan. We'll figure out how to work uh, so that, but I don't know what your strength is, but huh, we can try. Uh, Anirudh Gaddari has sent a huge super chat saying, "Just keep getting amazed by your dedication, guys. Especially Amrita for streaming every day in late hours for the love of chess. As always, Tagar by your analysis is want more of Vidit game. Hashtag pure love for chess. Hashtag Vidit gonna win. Are... Thank you. Gurjot. Very... Sorry, go on. Yeah, go on. Yeah, Gurjot Johal uh, super chatted. Hey guys, I feel blessed to get autographs of Sagar and all GMs playing. I took pledge to learn and win a tournament. Also, Sagar, try Bavara restaurant. Yeah, sure. Thank you, Gurjot. I will discuss with Asim about Bavara and then we will decide. <laughs> In infinite thing, uh, super chats. Anyway, anyone wins from India is us winning. However, I always felt to Vidit is the dark horse among all. Very unpredictable. Please let me know if I'm wrong. Can Vidit be beat everyone else? I think Vidit definitely has shown in six rounds that he is inferior to none. But also his time management hasn't been best. If he fixes that. I think he has great chances. Arvinder Singh, thank you for your contribution in Canadian dollars. So maybe he visited there. Abhishek Biswas thanks, says, Thanks, Agra Amruta, for the coverage. So excited for the generation of Indian chess. Prague Bukesh Arjun, these guys can make India the chess superpower that the Soviets once were. Oh. Absolutely, absolutely. Dr. Sumit becomes the new backer of Indian chess and a new member. So, thank you, the latest member, Dr. Sumit. Wow. Thank you, was, they, There were a lot of super chat Sagar today and we also had a lot of help chess. Like, we reached our goal. Tanya Dinesh sends uh, on help chess. She is the 11th, 82nd believer. With it is the 11th, 81st believer. Mr. Stark, 11th. 84, uh, no, 1180th believer. Sagar's favorite student is also 1179th believer. Aditya Pachauri, uh, 1178th believer. Saurav is 1177th believer. And Ashwin Sarvanan Iyer is 1176th believer. So we have reached currently 1182. I was believers. hoping at some point Abhuta would stop telling which number of believer and just read names, but she never stopped. <laughs> That happens, guys. You have to build your patience there mm. and accept. Uh, so, Amruta. Yeah. 
uh very quickly uh i want to also uh, just tell the people that because help chess is something which we are doing for the chess community for the players and so on please do consider contributing and maybe have a new aim of 1200 which we always had like you know hitting 1200 instead of 1175 so if you feel like sort of contributing or supporting indian chess players please go to helpchess.org and contribute and i want to say that my feeling is that gukesh's position looks dangerous if we can quickly turn our attention to gukesh's position because his last move was knight to d7 if you see those two pawns that white has on the king side on e5 and h5 are creating some kind of a bind on the black's position and if next move i go rook g3 now Yeah, you don't have knight h five. Mm. I'm threatening bishop takes h six. You may have to play king h eight. Now, if I go queen g four, you have to go rook g eight. And yes, Gukesh is defending, but you can sense it that actually it's Ali Reza who has attacking chances here. But it's also true that after this, beyond this. I don't see how the attack will develop. Exactly, it looks very dangerous. You're so right. But I think Ukesh has figured it all out because you don't have enough pieces. You need a knight also, for this attack. I I think what Ukesh is doing is you know this boxing terminology. You basically make your opponent take the punch. So when he's about to punch, he's kind of on the front foot. So his he loses a bit of balance, and then you you sort of. Somehow save yourself from the punch, and then use your opponent's sort of unbalanced uh, posture to hit back. And I think he's trying to do that. He's trying to tell Ali Reza, "Hey, you have attacking chances. Go for it." So Ali Reza might go Rook G three, King H eight, Queen G four, Rook G eight, and then all of a sudden, A four pawn is hanging there. Suddenly, Queen side way something will happen. So you know, Gukesh, smart guy there. And since when are you learning uh, boxing, Sagar? in canada no i haven't been learning it amrita but uh, you know i have uh, this was something i learned from morris ashley uh, he had once made a chess based uh, product video and it was called um, what is the drawback of the last move that is played and you know always in chess whenever a move is played there are some good things about it and some drawbacks about it like for example here as well the last move was knight d7 the drawback is that now it's no longer attacking h5 the upside is that now the knight can go to the queen side from c5 so you have to constantly keep asking yourself and in boxing also it's the same or in you know in many sports but boxing most particularly that when you go on the offensive there is some advantage you get but also some disadvantage because you are losing your balance Hmm. Like you don't have to keep asking in your life constantly. What is the drawback? What is the drawback? <laughs> well, you have to ask. At some point, it will become such a part of you while playing chess that you don't have to ask. But asking it at the start is a good idea because it will tell you uh, what are your opponent's threats. Ah uh, no, but not just drawbacks. No, you mean you have to ask both. What is the strength also? Because yes. <laughs> but but generally people look at strengths always. You know, it's very natural to look at strengths. Got it. Yeah, I think Gukesh's okay. attack is safe. Like he's calculated, especially when he's the one who loves to attack. Uh, normally, he sometimes has gone crazy suddenly, keeping his king in the center or going rash with g four and those kind of moves. But here, uh, it seems he's figured it out. Looking at the first six rounds, Agar being in joint lead in such a tough tournament. Has shown that he's he's in a very solid form. He's managing his time. He's form is he's calculating well. He is not bringing any beautiful novelties or anything on the board. Uh, but he's getting into these little deviations and managing to play the fresh positions, calculate them on the board. Very balanced play, yeah. Like I mean, as you rightly said, I can't point something very specific that Gukesh has done for him to be in the lead. But then again, he did nothing bad, and that sometimes is more important than doing something special. Like for example, with it, we can remember him beating Nakamura with great prep and so on. But 
then he also lost two games. Yeah. Okay. So uh, let's see. Piruz are low on clock. Bol rahe sab. Arey, we didn't see only. Yeah. Live board stuck that also. And let me just get it. But uh, Piruz are... Oh, Piruz are three minutes only to make her 24 moves. That's a very good point. Dad. Thank you for pointing it out. And I think that really will put a lot of pressure on Piruja. Yeah, Prashant has calculated 24 moves in 33 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, thought you, I thought you will say some division, some one minute, uh, 30 seconds <laughs> per move. But what, what did he calculate? 24 moves in 33 minutes. My voice is low. Uh, is it low to you also, Sagar? I don't know for people no. also, but... Uh... Uh, Jai Pandit, member for 38 months, booster of Indian chess, says, calling it now. With it wins today. Are let's go. Matlab, I am I am in fact right now, Sagar. I feel Gukesh will win and with it will win. Let's go to uh, with it game because yes. I have my doubts there. Because um, I think it's a game of patience. Yeah, both players waiting, playing the waiting game, with it moving his queen to e6, then to d6. He's just moving his queen around. No real threat as such. Oh, maybe now there is a threat, Amrita. Because Wait, Vidit has controlled the DC7 pawn. Ah, so the threat is AB4. You winning the pawn. AB, AB. Yeah. Rook a, no, there is an intermezzo. Rook A1, B takes C5. Yes, but Amrita, we... You can't give two rooks for the... Like, let's do a pass. Okay, one second. King, uh, where king, was g1. king h1, king queen d6, king g1, queen d6, king h2. Let's do a pass. Now, ab, ab, your threat is rook takes a1 and b takes c5. Mm -hmm. By the way, Amrita, very interesting is I can start with, uh, instead of rook a1, cb4. Here, ab, cb. Because now, if you play rook takes b4, rook takes a1 is hanging. Yeah, right? And you will lose material. Correct. Ah, yeah, this is a good one. Actually, yeah, you're winning the... Because so, the you will have to... And then takes. Yes. Though, though Nijat might think of something like this because he loves uh, this activity. Yesterday also, he was sacrificing some material. E6 is a good move, Amrita, by with it. He's just supported C7 and asking Nijat to make a decision. And as we know already, Nijat doesn't want to take C5 pawn or A5 pawn. He just wants to maintain the tension, but he's unable to. So, very interesting so moment. So, this pawn on now, B4 uh, is not ready to commit in any way. Yes, the pawn on B4 is like with it. Yes. <laughs> Luckily, Vidit is playing, he cannot hear us. So that's why it works, yeah. guys. Do not tell him. Just a secret. <laughs> but Karan Desai Super Chats. Love you, Sagar Bhai. A small contribution towards Indian chess. Are you, thank you, Karan. Thank you. Thank you. By the way, do, how many help chess believers do we have, Amrita? Oh, the latest yeah. one, Jay Sidhpura, two minutes ago, has contributed uh, 1,000 rupees and is 1186th yeah. believer. Thank you. Thank you. So we have four more names. If you can read them out, we are closing in on 1200 believers. It's amazing that late in the night we have people contributing and supporting. Yeah, we have Nikaru Hakamura. <laughs> Nikaru Hakamura has given 2000 rupees. He's super generous. Uh, yeah. uh, I, I don't know Nikaru if you're related with Nakamura in any way, but thank you so much <laughs> being a Nakamura fan. And we have Jay Sidpura. We had Krish. Uh, who contributed okay. Ayush Modani, Prayas Mishra, Tanya Dinesh. Yes. Again. Oh, Thank Tanya you. Dinesh did it uh, twice. Got it. Okay, brilliant. So, thank you for that. And also, Amruta, uh, let's go back to the game. Okay. And see now what Nijat will do will be exciting. Oh, he but played, let's go. He played Knight H4. Let's ask the chat if A takes B4. Oh, the... What is it that White is planning? By the way, guys, I'm recently in love with a song um, <gasps> which I must tell you. <laughs> Never frame the sentences Sagar, that way. I'm recently in love with, you know. Oh, come on. I'm in love with, can be with so many things. How yeah. can it be? Like... <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm in love with it. It's in Gulabi Sadi. Uh, 
uh, which is a marathi song and i really enjoy listening to it uh, da 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 i saw your reel uh, just before the stream and then it was all mess in your room and then the yeah. song and then the wording you because uh, what was that wording because it was i don't know how it, i just you know, like the music and tone you have no idea the wording match it's like Ah. This day too bhari, but it is like your room. This day too bhari. <laughs> my room, my room. Basically, yeah, someone said you made this mess because to shoot this reel, which is so silly. Yeah. By the way, did people find this moon night at five? Let me check. Amrita, you are not clearing the chat chess moves at all, right? Or I cleared. I cleared. See, we found twenty-four people found. इनर्शी आगम संतोष मंथन सत्यम सागर निरंजन प्रियांशु देव्य दिव्यम रोशन कितने सारे ने रोशन किया सागर वेल डन गाइस वेल डन वेल डन सो नाइट एफ फाइव इज द मूव एंड इट्स अ फोर्क ओके सो लेट्स गो बैक ही प्लेड की वेल द थिंग इज अमृता तो सॉरी आई सर the the only reason why it did not lose ab4 and knight f5 is because after ab4 okay the white queen is also hanging there ah. so that is the reason why but this was the threat overall oh not knight g actually not knight f5 knight f5 i mean is not the best move it's just an idea yeah <laughs> i mean the point so that is why with it just went king h7 to get out of these threats forever yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and again you will see that vidit is also provoking nijat in some ways right he is yeah. saying to nijat come come at me Haan like knight h4 and in that is where vidit will get his chances but again he should not overstretch it because uh, as you rightly have made that arrow a sack there like imagine if the queen was on d1 right now for white if the queen was there then after i sack the man of my knights i will pick up that pawn and some mating attack there and so i guess nijat might be looking at those tricks amruta like now let's say queen goes back to d2 no. and then ab and now i can go even for no 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 why 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 let wait wait let's be a little more creative queen e2 <laughs> just thinking What? why not B A oh knight takes G six. Amrita, this what? is the idea that that we wanted. Queen H five, King G seven, Knight F five, and game over. So you know, this is where Vidit can really fall into trouble. You remember in the World Cup he lost to Nijat, and this is where I think have to be very very careful against the attack that can come at you. So, uh, but he's gone King H seven. So the whole idea of protecting this and then you know pushing this never happened. Uh, so these pawns are not really getting a chance to be promoted no i think amruta what is going to happen now is that nijat will just throw away all his queen side plans and move to the king side like queen d2 as we said and with it like king h7 if you make the move king h7 queen e1 or queen d2 he will play there the queen and then with it now has to think okay my king is in trouble Should I go after the pawn a b four, which is still playable? I think a b four. No, okay, but no, it's not. King queen e two. It practically, I think queen it's e2. not playable. I got queen d one. Queen e two. Queen, queen e two. And now black has to find some very important defensive idea, Amrita. I don't know what it is knight because knight also has knight h five, right? Uh, knight of it, knight g six. Still, why doesn't uh, it work? It should work. Okay. Anyway, it doesn't matter because if I yeah. take knight g6, knight takes queen h5, king g7, yeah, yeah. king g7, queen takes g6. You have too many pawns. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 It's the most principled move, but then what no, else you want? Knight f8. Play? I was considering here. Okay, knight f8, queen e2. Still, I continue. Let's see what what is your defense. My still threat is knight takes pawn. Ah, uh, no, king f6 is a blunder. Still, the same threat. Don't you think that white is having better chances here? Yeah, suddenly feels like that. So maybe move the queen away. 
with this queen e6 back yes maybe but maybe. then again queen, queen e2 and uh, right. suddenly yes you're right queen e1 played with the same idea of going queen e2 sagar that is happening yes, and I'm, I'm actually scared for with it i'm really scared here mm because you see with it has played like as if thinking all the play will be on queen side but nijak said hey guys two knights are there my queen can join in the party a rook can swing over four pieces that's a huge attack oh by the way we have got the chat is saying that we've got a blunder alert vaishali's game can we quickly check that and something even on gukesh's game so vaishali firstly uh Yeah, let's have a look at Vaishali's game. No, Vaishali's, Vaishali's game is thing is not really. Yeah. yeah, seems equal. Nothing much there. Yeah, seems equal for now. So not there. Yeah, even Humpy's game is. Uh, yeah, this has happened on the board. So Humpy will at least it's a draw. So go. Oh ahead. wow! Wow! That's yeah, actually went. she found it. D four and Queen C two. The best way to continue. Very good. Uh, in this game, I think Gukesh's game maybe something happened or what? Rook G three was played after knight D seven Sagar, uh, and king then he went king H eight. So this also. I looks... love how Gukesh is playing fast and putting so much pressure on early days of the clock. Oh. Like it's insane how Gukesh is finding, if not in the advantage in the position, then on the clock. But all eyes. Let's well, let's quickly see. Prague has there been any progress because he did push A five. Ah, there is some progress in Prague oh, game. Very quick. This is exactly what we saw, played, right? Bishop d three, a five. He played a five. B a five. B a, B a, and now Queen e one, Knight c six. Prague, little Pragu, pushing here slightly. Amrita, you have played French, you know, Sagar with the black pieces. Yeah, so I used to, I used to like French, but you know. Modern day French is much different from what I used to play. I used to play Chapri French, which was quite a boring. Chapri French, yeah. What is Chapri French? Nice. Chapri French is like trying to just save yourself somehow. But Prague has played like a very modern, modern French. <laughs> so this position, I... according to your French experience, would you would say with the black pieces against a very very a uh, solid player with black do you think you can also convert something like this no 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 i can't convert anything amruta but i think prag can <laughs> prag can that's important you can't but prag yeah. can my only problem is my knight on c6 does not have a good square to go to i want to make it reach c4 but it's so difficult how to manage it i have to see um, that being said i want to go to b8 with my rook Rook B eight, and that could be one idea. So let's see how this develops because A five. But I also A5 like knight on C six. What you because it is putting pressure here. So maybe. Uh, oh, so it's like this, right? The, that when people have in their life, uh, they live in rented home. They want to buy a new house, and then someone comes and says, "But your house is already good. Why do you want a new house?" And you're like, "Huh? Yeah." Knight on c6 is good. Why do I want it somewhere else? Exactly. And Sagar, I was thinking of one move which was very exciting for me. And right now, Prague has that chance. And uh, this is the moment <laughs> I'm asking Mr. Sagar Shah and Chad to you, Black, to play. Prague will not play this, I believe, because uh, it's. Uh, If you saw it, then Prague would see it, right? No, no, he will definitely see it. But to make such a move right now, I don't know. So firstly, let's see, Sagar. You also think? Don't say. VD game also heating up says Rakshit. This one black to play, guys. Something very exciting. VD game is on fire. I mean, it's not heating up. VD game will go next, but I'm very curious what Amrutha has on her mind. Because here. I was going to say that you know I would really love to play something like this, though I know it's very weakening. But people in the chat, yeah. yes. क्या बात है G5 has been suggested by Prabhu Chirag Vivekanand Siddhan Harshit Manish Raj Prashant Maverick and Ankur over there G5 Sagar if Prag plays this move direct threat is G4 and winning the pawn first yes. question how do you stop that uh wow i can't believe g5 is working is it thing because even the queen on e1 yeah not on d1 which we had to be very alert for discovered attacks and all that so okay I mean, queen knight e3? square is weak 
queen e3 to, to, I, uh, okay to i like queen, that too g7 K king g7 this is what you said yeah yeah or, or else is there was there no, another no, this move? is the best best uh, way to continue and but okay suggest another move for white now i don't know because yeah this looks good this looks very uh, difficult for white to find the best moves but it is he's karuana that's why he's very good at defense and that's why he'll find moves like h4 you know computers still top moves sagar over here are h1 is h4 and one is g4 <laughs> So it's oh, a... H4, I understand. H4, if G4, knight G5. Yeah. And white is doing it. But G4, G4 is, is not is so very good. Crazy. But it's not even, the, I mean, it's the second best move, but I think it's also a little bit of a desperate attempt. If Prak plays G5 here, I will. Um, uh, I don't know what I will do, but I will smile. Dance. Yeah. You will dance on the song. But guys, if G5 happens here, please uh, ring the bell. Ghanti bajao, alam bajao. We should come back here. We cannot miss that moment. For now, we are going to shift to VD's game because he's in huge trouble. Not huge trouble, Rakshit. That is, huge trouble would be a little too much. But yeah, I get this been. feeling, Anuta. If What is with its remaining time on the clock? 28 minutes and uh, this is move number 23rd so 17 moves to be made in 28 minutes and Nijat is having one hour like exactly one hour yeah so with it now essentially trying to save himself on the king side and for the time being there are no sacrifices yeah like for example knight g6 does it work here knight g6 he's just saving himself because rook g6 Queen h5, rook at 6. And somehow you are safe. Uh, otherwise, it was lost, this position. Okay. But that um, is about chess, no? One move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Maybe here, what about ngf5? <clears throat> because if you play gf, queen h5, king g8, knight f5, I am getting all the moves, but somehow there's no mating attack, right? So just rook moves, yeah, yeah. Right, king h8, it's all safe. It's all good. Somehow, the black with it, king. with it hanging on, yeah, with it hanging on there, no, no sack happening as such yet. But, but he has to be very careful. And Amrita, the reason why with it is in trouble. By the way, my voice is good. Yep, for me. Or is it, is it low? No, it's good. Guys, Prague is not blundered. Like, uh, it's not a blunder. Prague went to rook a8. He did not go g5. It's practically a very tough move that you're weakening your light squares when uh, such ideas are there. The queen and bishop can... So, rook a8 has been played. What happens, Arun? Oh, no, please, no, no. Take I some rest. That. Please uh, get a bit of... Rest in between you also because yeah, you need tomorrow to is the rest day. Ah. Tomorrow is a rest day, and somehow I just don't want to go anywhere tomorrow because really I think today I'm unable to see things clearly. It's I don't know what is happening. Oh, your but... vision, you mean it's about the vision? Yeah, it's hazy. Yeah, it's hazy a little Can bit. Can you try your uh, other uh, spectacles? Or it's is it Maybe old spectacles? Will. Did you wear old spectacles by chance? No, no, no. I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry. Just go and right. have a pool water wash, you know, once and then come back if you feel like Yes, it. I will. I will. But right now, let's be with our uh, candidates. How? As you when like you can't call. see properly, how can I, I couldn't see for the last two hours. I was fine. I was, I was analyzing. So, let's have a look at the game of um, Vidit. C3 has been played a very solid move actually. Getting rid of this problem yeah. and then he will prepare uh, for. Smart boy. Smart boy. Smart boy Nijat. Just not letting VD uh, get any inroads on the queen side. And I think with its main priority now should revolve around activating his bishop because it has been doing nothing. Unfortunately, you just don't have this time no for going yeah no it's just it's it's it would just end in a mate if you play five but how can we 
do something. Maybe A4? maybe now is the time to A4, yeah, maybe. Actually, it's like all pieces are in Zuzu, yeah. No one can move. <laughs> I like White's position, by the way. I like it because Vidit has less than 25 minutes now and um, he needs to find some good moves. He needs to actually save himself. He need, it's like, you know, Amruta, um, Vidit may be able to find one one move, but that if each move takes two, three minutes away from him, he may not be able to reach the time control. So he needs to find a series of moves, like an idea. But it's not so simple. What the idea you will find? Absolutely. One of the moves which uh, normally also for double pawns, C4 is a move, yeah, which can happen. But here even yeah. that is yeah. not yeah. really happening. C4 is a very interesting move. Yeah? Pawn sacrifice, we take C4. And when the Ukraine pawn is guarded, so you are not that material. But again, if you see the engine likes this for black, which means that such pawn sacrifices are very much possible. Yeah, only thing is White will also have to calculate when to take it, when not to take it. So with this game, C3 has happened. Let's uh, quickly look at look at Gukesh. I, I kind of understood Amrita why C4, DC4 was giving black an advantage. So C4, DC4, Bishop A6 if I'm not mistaken. Right. Provoking B5. And then coming back, and now your knight will get C5 wow, square. So, what a position! So nice, nice positional idea. Beautiful. You go bishop a6, you ask him. So, this pawn, in a way, is worth like to get the knight to the square, you can give up a pawn. That much is the importance of that square. Okay, one thing is that this d3 pawn is not protecting e4 anymore, but yeah, c3. Tagger. But really, I mean, uh, okay, we have to talk about it later. It's okay. That's fine. I mean, it's just about sleeping. You need to sleep. Even if you sleep less, how will your vision go hazy? No, I'm just tired. I need to sleep. That's the only thing. Okay. Okay. So, uh, we have 4,700 people Hello? in the chat. Guys, do like the stream. We have 1191 believers. Prasad, ne Prasad diya abhi last me helped us pe contribute kiya. So, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Prasad. And we also had few members. Divyam Mehta has become the backer of Indian Chess. Nitin Komaneni has become the backer of Indian Chess. Um, thank you. Uh, we have, Amrut? yes, Sagar. I have this feeling <clears throat> that today Vidit and Ali uh, Vidit and Bukesh both are under pressure. Let's go to Bukesh's game because if you look, Ali Reza has given up the a5 pawn. He just played knight f3. And he's telling Gukesh, Lelo why pawn Lelo. <laughs> so if Gukesh snatches the pawn on a5 with his queen. Then queen d2, now threatening to sack on h6. King h7 maybe looks like the only move, right? And now, ah, if there is something here, has to be seen, but I'm feeling very nervous about both so Vidit and Gukesh. G7 can happen or what? No. Maybe, but I don't think so. Bishop h6, king h8, king h7. And you don't have anything immediately. And if I go rook at bishop at 6, you simply take on uh, at 6. Yeah. So there is nothing in continuation. So you need another piece uh, in this attack. You need to. You know, it can very attack. much. This is actually the defining moment of the tournament. This few next few minutes. Because if those who will be able to survive this position will be able to sort of make a claim to the tournament. But you know, over here, there is one more possibility of uh, going into a draw. Because if Alireza says, okay, I don't want to really try a Yeah, yeah. So he gives check. a check. You go back. And if he goes here again, you will have to go king at 7. <laughs> so so that is a possibility. We'll see if Alireza is in that mood or not. We don't know right now. But uh, let's, let's uh, go to the next game. Thinking if Prag will go G5 or not. This no, is the he, big question. He didn't give go, no. He went rook 8. Now, again, again, again. He, achha, again, Bishop B5 code. Here also G5. 
now g5 uh, i doubt because he didn't go when he played rook8 so now i doubt he won't go who knows who knows because it's there on his mind yeah that move g5 i'm sure it is the first move that comes to anyone's head who is looking at such positions because you have a clear threat of taking winning the pawn that's yeah, cool. yeah. By the way, uh, Satyajit has gifted five chess with India memberships. Uh, guys, you don't have to do the claim; it automatically uh, get. Yeah. Matlab, the YouTube algorithm will find the members. Akshay Nathu says, "Super chats." It would be fun if Nijat shows up in crutches and says, "Meri ek tang nakli hai. Main chess ka bahut bada player tha. Ek din Vidit Bai ko World Cup mein hara diya." That's a movie dialogue, I think. <laughs> Travel with Nikhil Roshan says. Akshay agar... Nathu. Huh? <laughs> uh, Akshay Nathu ka dimag kaisa chalta hai? Oh, bahut hi deadly hai. <laughs> Sagar, by dinner at Taj, if you challenge and defeat Samay on my behalf to get my mod back, I'm new at chess. So, okay, resending kiya usne. He's changed some things. That's cool. Then we have uh, Shweta Thakkar saying, Sagar by sending some positive and active energy. I can imagine how tired you must be creating content for us. We need you with all your energy. Yes, yes. No, I will be back. Uh, I'm I'm actually on full energy in such, but I'm just right now. I mean, I could have not joined the commentary and just looked at chess here or slept. Like that is one very interesting photo, Amruta, of me sleeping in the media room. What? Uh, yep, yesterday, yeah. yes. Uh, I don't know. You, know. I, you don't check. I, I didn't see. What's you don't that check, huh? No, I yeah, think I, I just see. sleep <laughs> during the day <laughs> mainly and try to. Uh, every day there's a new life problem. Sometimes this internet, sometimes that. Prachura Padukanya has uh, super chatted. Sagar Bhai has got good riz. Let's go, Desi boys. Bye, Prachura yesterday said, I have something. A uh, big announcement to make, but we are all waiting for what is that announcement. Uh, Prachura, when are you going to reveal? And oh, he said it's actually going to impact Indian chess in a big way. Wow, tremendous! So, then. I don't know what it is going to be. And we have Mahesh Parab super chatting. Sagar Bhai, thanks for the coverage from the tournament venue. Amruta, thank you for all nighters you're pulling. I was not able to meet Sagar Bhai at the tournament venue, but hoping to do so. Oh, so you he, came or what? Really, nice. you are gone. Wow. Yeah, very surprising. Very nice. Yeah, Jay Pandit is uh, calling it now. With it, will win today. Prasad Dash super chatted for Indian chess. Medhapati Gautam has contributed for the first time. Thank you. Parag Barke says, I saw Vidit Gukesh day before yesterday outside the venue. Also saw Sagar sir and Surya sir. I just felt Thank so you. proud seeing everyone here. Thank you. Are Parag. Thank you, guys. Right. So Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's yeah. very nice. Okay. But, Amazing. Uh, let's go to the game yeah. of, uh, of Vidit. I want to see what he played after C3 because I think Thank he you. has been... Rook F1. And now he goes. Wow. In. Okay. So basically, uh, I didn't. I think I'm. I'm not a big fan of Vidit's move H5, which was looking very active, but now he's basic. He's set to sort of defensive posture. You know, in the position, like he has to keep defending now. I maybe right now I will agree with you, but at that point of time it looked so tempting, uh, because it felt like you're getting an attack, uh, yeah. so felt natural. True, Surprising. true. I'm just coming yes, in a yes. minute. Hey, Karu, Nepo game. Oh, what is happening? Such a something big or what? Ooh, ooh, Bishop G3 sacrifice on the board. Crazy, completely crazy. Is there a perpetual? Because the computer says, okay, white has a defense. So what is happening? First of all, if white just simply captures a piece back, black to play, guys. This is Nepo's idea, black to play over here. Nepo has sacrificed a piece, which means he is, if it is captured, he's a rook down over here. And he will have to find an accurate move. Nepo played brilliancy. <laughs> oh. 
वेरी नाइस ये शू वेरी नाइस सो द मूव यर विच हैज बीन सजेस्टेड बाय आर चैट इज नाइट एफ फोर एक्चुअली नॉट मेनी पीपल फाइंड राज सयंतन तीर्थ क्रिस युवराज सम्यक शैलेश विक्रम एंड विशाल हैव फाउंड इट नाइट एफ फोर चेक सो इट्स अ फोर विच मीन्स यू हैव टू कैप्चर दिस पीस ऑल्सो अगेन so nepo has nepo will be rook down and a piece down which means he needs to have a perpetual okay continuing with a check that's only one check queen g6 check uh, where is the king going to go because one last decision with white to take the king to the right square otherwise he will be in big trouble so where should the king go we are reaching this position and will reach this position yes happening on the board guys what is the answer where should the king go the people are saying if you play b5 i am not sure of the position the the chat is saying no king f1 king f1 is the right move which has happened on the board knight g3 check because if you go anywhere else if king h1 knight g3 king moves knight e2 and ye the material you Amruta, yes sagar it's crazy the game between nepo and hikaru ended in a draw yeah because, because it's perpetual yeah sacrifice yeah but what so, a game yeah. what a game very nice game very nice game they are coming here i guess there might be a press conference superb so yes you need i will go and help uh, you need any help which questions you want to ask them but maybe no i was yeah. there so i know okay perfect all the best sagar take some uh, just definitely wash your eyes once with the cool water freezing water <laughs> maybe it helps no i'll be fine i'll be fine bye bye by the way nicha smooth c4 here yeah? pressing yeah oh, he finds it actually he had to find c4 or b5 uh, he finds it c4 good move so with this is war plus low on time amazing slightly worse not much but slightly worse but position too complex because if the bishop opens sagar anything can happen then it's very different so 50 minutes for nijat he might need to take some time let's hope prag but in the meantime did he go g5 no bishop e5 he again did not but i'll come back yes bye can... we have the standings over there by the way aman raj one minute ago thank you for becoming the contributor very kind of you uh, sad for vd says rakshit but it's not yet over and i think anything can happen still no matter what because yesterday also the game was very complex prag nijat and we saw things going up and down so nijat's play in general has been there are moments when he finds some amazing moves and there are moments where he misses some important move so anything can anything is possible but let's hope for the best queen d8 in prag's game has happened so g3 played by karwana very solid move now uh, g5 is not as powerful anymore because white actually what karwana is going to do is h3 and g4 that's his idea that could be an idea so prag's game is going slow and steady but gukesh who was under attack a5 was played queen c7 knight f3 and he's still thinking he's gone into a long thought he had 58 minutes now he's been thinking for 15 minutes whether to take this pawn or not it's not a must that he should take the pawn he has some other ideas also knight c5 knight e4 could definitely tempt him because you know you want to kick the rook away and you want to centralize your knight plus some pressure here on f2 uh, with such a misplaced rook so knight 
e knight c5 is a move i think gukesh might go for nepo's game ended in a brilliant draw oh by the way it ended in a draw but we have to see how it ended in a draw queen g6 king f1 check and then he wins the queen bishop g4 happens rook went to a3 this is the current position for them so materially uh, white is having a rook two knights rook and two knights against the queen so nepo did manage to sort of uh, equalize the material but normally rook and two knights should be stronger than the queen in this case the king is weak that's why it's not as much of an advantage going to vaishali's game very quickly hampi and vaishali because hampi did find queen c2 so after queen b3 after queen c2 rook d1 was played in the game attacking d4 rook d8 both the passers going pushing ahead queen f2 check what's happening she did give the f2 pawn very very surprising maybe she is banking on e7 check here so that queen f7 still okay this game is moving towards a draw that's the point and in vaishali's game things are still complex bishop c1 vaishali has gone bishop a7 vaishali is down to 11 minutes she will have to make around 17 to 18 moves late ing also down to 20 minutes so it's going to be lot of pieces all four pieces actually all the pieces on the board major pieces minor pieces so in time pressure it will not be so easy with so many pieces on the board let's come back here vaishali in more time trouble than late ing for gukesh he is not yet making a move after knight f3 nepo is also going towards a draw so we will stick with with its game he has played queen c2 knight f8 played b takes c5 b takes c5 so with it now has isolated doubled pawns d3 is weak for him but the b file is open for white a4 is weak is he losing here already b takes c5 the queen cannot take on a4 because of rook d3 so that's not happening but it's definitely a weakness there yes it's going to be tough it's getting tough guys with its time with its position and gukesh also has to be very alert deepak says i want to learn chess i am right now 500 so there is any course of you sagar bhai uh, deepak gor there is a youtube series improving uh, your chess series you can watch that so it was made in pandemic but you can watch it with lot of fun with the comedians and sagar i think you will get to learn a lot hardik jain thank you for becoming the backer of indian chess the latest member so thank you nijat is thinking one good thing is nijat also will need to think it's so not a position where white plays easier than blacks that's good here we have the standings but maybe i'll also have something else for a while oops sorry maybe i have this thumbnail yeah shikhar shrivastava super chats just wanted to express my immense gratitude to both of you thank you for sharing your life so authentically in the service of indian chess thank you for all you've done for us Oh Shikhar, that's your first super chat, and thank you for such a uh, heartwarming message. We love chess. We all live together because we all love chess. Rook f three on the board by Nijal. So, if you have to see the bar, little bit went down. He says it's not the best move. Uh, maybe the best move was to take the knight back, which you would never like to do. Like imagine a move like knight e two. the knight is going nowhere over here but the point is the knight is shifting to c3 for this a4 pawn so to think of it at this point to just completely understand that the a4 guy is a target and you don't have to stick here on the king side was not an easy thing so knight e2 yes the move is easy but not easy 
at this point of time if you're uh, playing this game since 28 moves if you have given such a position then you will find knight e2 because you're not attached with the knight being on g3 keeping an eye over here so b takes e5 so knight e2 was missed uh yes he could have also gone rook a d1 with the idea of queen a4 but the whole point is about the a4 pawn what Nijat is looking at is he doesn't care about this pawn. He is looking at how he can create more attack on the king side. Which is very very fair to think in this way. Having such knights here uh, with it going in time pressure. With it having the passive pieces. You want to double your rooks. You know that is the feeling for you. With it very quickly understands and goes bishop c6. And says hey let me firstly defend this guy here. As much as I can. And anyway, my bishop would be attacked. So, it's a very good move. Vidin has found a solid move. Now, once again, if you try to go 92 at this hour, it's not the best idea. Because then, Vidin, who was waiting for something, something very solid, he can think of that idea. Guys, what is an idea over here for Vidin? Which can get extremely exciting and extremely complex as well. But exciting and complex is fine. Pratham says, beauty of evaluation bars at this moment. Oh, absolutely. In time pressure, we need them. Just look at the bars for now. It's pretty much, uh, you know, holding steady for all the men's game. And for women's game also, nothing, nothing huge is happening. So, the candidates are all playing super solid. Sachin says, knight can also go to d5, closing the open file and d3 weakness. Okay, that one I would definitely, uh, yeah, because bishop, one knight exchange may also help you. Not 100% sure, because uh, the knight, if it can win the pawn, then why not? After winning the pawn, yes, then it closes the file. Agree with you completely. Then I agree with you. First win the pawn, then get the knight to six. What is the move, guys? What is the move? So many of you are thinking of few ideas. One is f5. G f5, g5 and knight at 7. Because many of you want to shift the knight to g5. Uh, and I love the move f5. It's not like the best move, but it's a move which we all were waiting for. Unleashing the bishop and feels you know feels more into the play of the rook f7 rook g7 h5 all that category so f5 is an idea which with it can definitely keep an eye if one of the knight moves but if the knight moves to e2 uh somebody said knight yeah knight h7 knight g5 was also suggested but another idea is to go queen d6 attacking the d3 pawn it's what the computer suggests because of some tactical ideas. Now you can't go rook d1. If you go rook d1, it's a big mistake. Black to play. Be very alert and very quickly let me know what is the best move here. Sumit so says draw with black is good, I guess. For sure. I mean the result wise uh, and also the position wise, a draw would be definitely a good result. Normally, in such uh, top level tournaments, elite tournaments, the way it is thought is only that the people, the players who are on the lowest points, everybody feels like you want to beat them. That is the feeling. Uh, otherwise, everybody is very strong. Super. Bishop e4 is the move here. Oh, so many. 50 people. I did not expect that. 3.13 a.m. So many of you are going to find it. Samarpit Siddhesh, Jivansh, Nikhilesh, Ashutosh, Devar, Shailesh, Siddharth, Raj and Sharvin. So these guys have found it. Bishop e4 because it's a pin over here. So you cannot take and you winning more material. So not to do that. So queen d6. Remember the d3 weakness is very critical. So rook f3 can help with it. Not the best move. Let's see, this move was played quickly in comparison and 10 moves to make. Vidit is managing. Nakamura's result has updated. It's ended in a draw. Tuck, 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 tuck. 
Gukesh is figuring out. Oh, did he? Oh, he takes the pawn. He has picked up the pawn absolutely without worrying about any sacrifice here. He's, he's very confident. He knows if this happens, it's a draw. So that means Gukesh is okay with a draw because this one was with white. The choice is with white whether to draw or not. But Ali Reza says no draw. Come on. I want to go C4 first. And here you have a pin. Stay alert. You can't take big blunder. Your piece would be lost. So C4 on the board. Okay. What next Gukesh is going to bring? He's a pawn up. He's a pawn up. But piece activity with white is definitely a compensation. So it's unclear with 35 minutes on his clock. And Ali Reza has now. Actually Gukesh has been in such a long thought. Oh my goodness. Queen A5. And after C4, another 6 minutes. So, they are coming to equal time. So, the whole time advantage which he had is going away. At least the time advantage. But the position is fine. Pragnananda, if you see, G3, Knight, E7. He finally rerouting the Knight. King goes to G2. Prag goes Queen, C8. Now, what is this subtle move there? Holding, holding the, controlling the C file. But what is his idea? How is he planning to improvise the position? Clearly, Prag is the one who is, you know, trying to put some pressure because of this one reason. The D4 pawn, which is weak. The C file, which is in his control. So, he has more flexibility. Queen D1 played by Karwana. And maybe Prag's rook is going to enter the third rank. Rook on C3. Attacking the A3 pawn. Keeping an eye over there. Wow. Can get intense. How many moves they have made? 31 moves. Okay. Time wise. There is zero pressure. So no pressure here. <laughs> Let's quickly. Uh... Let's quickly go to Vidit's game. Bishop C6 has made Nijat to think. And Gukesh also is thinking. Everyone's thinking over here. Vaishali also. After c5, after rook d1, knight g6, bishop c1, she goes bishop a7, we are seen here. So c4 and knight goes to b4, and c5 played by white. Now c5 is kind of locking this bishop here on this diagonal. But the bishop can always give threats here, mating net. So white will have to be careful, but you love the spawn, yeah, on c5, getting the queen side space. Um... Not sure how Vaishali is going to continue here because it gives an outpost to white knight and seven minutes. Man, this is getting risky because if I think of a move like knight f4, what? It's already a big mistake. Oh my god. Oh my god. Over here, knight f6 check. Look at this move. And then you pick this knight. Then the king is weak. The pawns are weak. Crazy. So she'll have to be very alert. Vaishali will need to be very alert. With 7 minutes. Viri blunder. What? Oh. Oh he made a mistake. Nijat makes a mistake. Knight at 7. Knight e2 played. What? We are not moving here right now. Knight e2. Finally Nijat changes his mindset. Okay. Firstly. He, that's a very good thing that he thinks that he finds this idea that the knight can go to c3, attack a4. But the timing, the timing is wrong. With it, find this move, queen d6, attacks this d3 guy. And the tactic, if you remember guys, you all had answered for rook d1. What's the problem? Bishop e4, the same thing which we were looking at is actually happening on the board. In that position, only the difference was maybe the knight was on f8. So, knight e2, he's completely missed this tactic which Vidit was so alert. How much time did he take to make this move? 1917. Oh, he took less than a minute. Okay, that's a mistake. That's a blunder. It reminds me of, you know, the sad situation of Vidit in World Cup where he was the one who lost. Um, I think he was winning, right? He was better. So, this one. Is kind of, you know, it's just a return gift maybe. <laughs>
क्या बात है क्या बात है दिस इज समथिंग वी जस्ट डिड नॉट एक्सपेक्ट आई मीन इफ यू कंसिडर लेट्स से इफ यू नो फॉर निजात एंड हिज पीपल इट वुड बी लाइक सच अ सैड थिंग बिकॉज दे डोंट वॉन्ट हिम टू सी ब्लंडर सो इट्स वेरी अनफॉर्चुनेट वेन निजात प्लेड अ beautiful game until now he's he's managed to defend well he got his pieces here he got c4 b5 the timing everything was absolutely perfect but at this point just when you could sense this move after b takes c5 when he went rook f3 you sense that nijat's mindset is to play on the king side and use his knights this was his mindset because of which he never at it got the right timing to attack the a4 pawn otherwise you won't miss such a pawn yeah bishop went to c6 rook c8 and now rook f1 and now knight at 7 supporting f6 also keeping an eye on g5 at any point of time knight goes to e2 uh nijat had number of ways to continue though but not easy again he had to keep moving this rook or that rook but basically to keep his knights intact Ninety two, queen d six, and this would have shocked him completely because it's not just a plain blunder, you know. It's not just a slight inaccuracy. Here you are left with how do you support this? Knight c one is another move. We saw rook d one, and knight c one is another move. But if you go knight c one, then again the move which we would all just love to go for, you know, can't miss it. It's like this movie the इतना अमेजिंग मूवी रिलीज हुआ है एंड फर्स्ट डे फर्स्ट शो यू जस्ट डोंट वांट टू मिस इट दैट काइंड ऑफ अ मूव रक्षित इज प्रग पुटिंग प्रेशर रिगार्डलेस व्हिच कलर इज प्लेइंग विद यस फॉर प्रग आई थिंक ब्लैक तो इज नॉट एट ऑल मैटरिंग एट ऑल रक्षित से जैट एक्सपर्ट समय थ्री सेवेंटी निजात इतना एक्यूरेट आज ही खेल रहा है निजात ब्लंडर्ड एट एटीन एंड वॉट डेट समय से बाय द वे वी हैव शवनक गुजराती सुपर चैटिंग अगेन लेट्स गो वीडी थ्री विन्स ऑन द बोर्ड सोन शवनक थैंक यू फॉर योर सुपर चैट वी स्टिल हैव इन फाउंड अ मिस्ट्री हाउ यू रिलेटेड विद द सर नेम बट what's the move let me show the chat i don't think many people have uh, oh people are finding f5 go go adar sharpit adit ankit everybody from me jay siddesh tirth lakshit kalyan and raj f5 this is the move okay but important is if knight c1 will be played because he will for sure not go rook d1 that's like a beginner blunder you won't do that uh if he goes knight c1 over here let's say then with it should make sure that he goes f5 because he cannot miss this opportunity if he misses this opportunity then it would be a trouble here it is a pin even when you want to play f5 guys we have the bar which says okay black is clearly better but on the board with 18 minutes and with such tension you when you don't know the evaluation bar you are going to definitely think okay but let me check what is happening for knight f5 g f5 once again you cannot take e f5 so rook f5 and your h pawn is weak this is something vidit will try to calculate and say ki okay i have h4 i can fix it over here then i can always defend it my knight is jumping here and these are the double pawns so even if the knight you know collected two pawns it's because of such a lock system over here This is like equal to one pawn, not even as much compensation. And that is the support. If I play the game, kya baat hai? We go to check chess moves because that was the question. Twenty people, pat yourself on your back. At three twenty-three p.m. a.m. Sorry, p.m. kya ka? A.m. Be very proud of yourself that Vidit has played f five. अक्षय से अमृता दीदी इन समाइम बिशप एच थ्री सैक कर देगा विदित ने क्वेश्चन नो दैट इज 
बट ठीक है पीपल डोंट नो वी हैव सम लॉयल चैट सो इसके लिए चल जाता है ओ सो मेनी पीपल आई वर सेइंग इट्स हैपेंड इट्स हैपेंड नहीं बट आई थिंक आवर क्वेश्चन केम फर्स्ट बिकॉज़ एट टाइम द मूव वाज नॉट प्लेड सो वी आर गेसिंग and also his time is fine now in this position 8 minutes it's a dream scenario oh my god this is like a dream scenario it's just shivam says life will be boring after candidates are kaise if india would have won the candidates then world championship preparation bahut kuch hai tumko bhi karna padega <laughs> we'll also have to prepare ourselves for the match you know just to feel Rakesh says, "Can we appreciate the last six, seven moves? How fast VD has played? Definitely, he's been very solid. Especially uh, how much ever it feels, but for me, this move, Bishop C six, just solidifying it, mattered a lot. Being alert to take care of this little guy over there. So Queen C two, I think uh, at which point he started playing very fast. He are good. When he reached twenty four minutes, King G eight. On this twenty fourth move, he had twenty four minutes." and now from this moment he has played quickly hello amrita so one second one second you are you are at the right time at an amazing time sadar i can't believe that vidip is now better what happened oh can you tell god. me oh my god yes you know and we had on our chat just moves that question here at this point knight h uh, knight you can hide you can hide the other one amrita I do uh, one of the videos. I'm doing it. Night. I didn't even read it. Yeah, stop reading. I didn't even read it. Stop reading. Got it. So, Sagar, over here, while we were discussing this, okay, 92 was played, which was a blunder. You saw the moves, or you have not seen it? No, no. So knight e two was played, which was a blunder, and because with it finds wow. a good move. F five, yeah. No, not F five. Your F five is no. F five because it hits the queen. Yeah. Oh, oh, I know, I know, I know. You can move your queen away. Queen d six or d seven. Yeah, queen d six. You attack d three, and if you go rook d one, very quickly, I get if you go rook d one. Why is Asim so happy? Did he bring something to for you to eat? Yes, Asim, don't. <laughs> oh, he's brought his favorite dessert of all time. Which is what is it called? What is it called? Tiramisu. Tiramisu. Oh, okay, oh. I'll have it later. F five now, Amrita. No, that is Rukdi. No, no, be alert. No, no. Like with it. Bishop e four, yes. Yes, bishop e four, and he wins a pawn, so you can't really do that. So knight c one was played, and now f five, and rook three f two is played. Rook three f two is played. F takes yeah, e four, with it takes. D takes e four has happened on the board, and with it is playing so fast now. I'm not even understanding how he's making moves so fast. Queen e seven. <laughs> And Attacks which move number is this, Amrita? Thirty-fourth move. He has seventeen minutes. He's clearly better. Not bad. Wow. Move. So maybe Amrita with this win, with it will move to four points if he wins. And we have Nepo who has drawn just now. So Nepo is like right now the sole leader. Yeah, but also Sagar, I wouldn't stay, still talk about winning here because the advantage is plus minus one, and we have seen yesterday also with Prague. Going up and down, so a little too early, especially when tie pressure and dollars are. Why shall he blunder? By the way, everyone saying why shall he has blundered. Uh, just to quickly check what happened. Knight d five, queen b eight. Oh, it's a really big blunder. Oh my god, the move here, white to play. Of course, you can miss this.
What is it? Because I want to. Oh my goodness. Okay, but if she your... miss, misses that, still there was another move. But the move here is crazy. Crazy. What? What's the move? Queen d5. What? Exactly. Wow. How are you consider this as a candidate move? Queen d5. Rook d5. Yeah. Knight f6. Gf. Rook e8. King g7. Rook d5. Huh? Yeah. With rook d8 coming in. Absolutely. And if you see Amrita, the queen does not have c7, d6, e5, f4, g3, h2, no square. <laughs> oh my Unbelievable. god. Unbelievable. Did late thing you find it? I, I'm no, sure no, she no. I, I think it's very hard to find it. But even if she doesn't no, no. find it, still rook d5 is definitely a possible move. Uh, but I think Vaishali right, has queen d5. Yeah. But if she queen d5, could be the move of the day. Yeah. If she plays queen d5, definitely the move of the day. Amazing. What a moment here. No way she finds it. People are saying. Okay. Very quickly, moving to with its game again. Because there, uh, fe4, d4, queen e7 was played. The knight goes back to f3. What else do you do? And again, Vidit is in a situation to still go for the best move with 17 minutes. And he finds it. He plays g5. Wow. VDOP, guys. g5 is not an easy move here, Sagar. It's not like obvious Insane. yeah, that you go g5. Insane. That too, in, you know, guys, he took only one minute to make such a move. So he's shifted his mind completely that he's going to make quick moves. Abhi nahi. Abhi nahi hatega. Tu kha tira mein su kha tu. Dar bet ke enjoy kar vidit mas jeet ra hai. But that's cool. Uh, VDOP for now, at least in the last few moves, the way he's managed his time and the moves he's found by his alertness. Jo bhi ho, but abhi ke liye to VDOP banta hi hai. Vidit yeah, very good. I think Vidit is showing that he is, you know, he got under pressure. He wriggled out of it somehow. Now pressing and I think he won't let this opportunity go because it means yeah. so much, you know, to get this position. Someone inherits, inherits a fortune um, from their parents, then you don't value it so much. But someone works hard for it and earns it, then they're like, why? So that is how he's got the advantage today. <laughs> what a nice analogy, Sagar. Maza gaya. Amazing. Thank you, Amanda. Can we, can we quickly look at Gukesh's game? Because Gukesh went in greedy mode to snatch a pawn. Yes. And C4. On A5. Yeah. C4. And C4. he was rook G8. Yeah. But look at the time because he's gone down to 20. He's used like majorly major of his time so he's got uh, 25 minutes now and Ali Reza is down to 16 minutes after rook g8 yeah rook yeah. g8 is natural move because you I was thinking only... now cd will be played with the cd yeah. cd queen d5 I think he will play he will take yeah queen d5 queen d5 ed and I was wondering if this position is closer to equality than black better I understand black is a pawn up I think practically black will have better chances if white tries to over push. But rook d1 and maybe black pawn is being recovered. I think uh, in that Knight case B6. it's fine. Knight yeah. b6. Oh, lay blundered. Lay did not find it. That's what the chat is saying. So, um, <laughs> shall we just go to a mo take a moment and go to Vaishali's game? Because lay tingi did not find yeah, yeah. the most amazing move of the day. Of course, it was very tough. If she would have found, then it would have been amazing. But even if she doesn't find, what did she play? Knight a7. Ah, that's why the blunder was practically not a blunder as such. Because <laughs> it was missed oh. by both the players. And now bishop e6 should be okay for Vaishali. Okay, Humpy's game has ended in a draw, guys. A result has been updated. Okay, yes. Going, to, going back to the men's section. Uh, by the way, Vaishali is having how much time on her clock? 1 minute 42 seconds. Oh, and she has to make 10 moves. So, if you look at the siblings right now, Prag, 
Rug is having 22 minutes and it's the 34th move. So he's in a way very relaxed. Rook c3 was played. All that which we were looking at. Rook went to b3. Queen c7. Rook a b1 happened. And Prague goes rook b8. So a4 now. Okay. Karuana slowly and steadily regrouping his pieces and seems like this solid uh, might not be much for it for uh, Prague. Okay, G3 played. Okay, G5, G3. Now, within 15 minutes on the clock, he has to make only 5 moves. Ali Reza blunder. Blunder! Kya baat kar rahe ho? Rook A1. Oh my god. We did not expect this move. Rook A1. The bars. Guys, are the bars helping you to know what's happening there? Wow, this is an insane moment because we have a possibility of so many of our guys being in the lead. Aman Raj, uh, yeah, thank you for contributing. Ali Reza also made a bad move. Rook A1. Kis, abhi to, you know, for us, it is the most complex situation. Ki kiska game dekhe? Yahan se, you know, it's like we are constantly running. It's like ghar mein, uh, electricity gaya, paani gaya, ye gaya, wo gaya. Isko phone karo, usko phone karo. Wo wala situation ho gaya <laughs> But, happy, nahi, wo wala situation mein gaya se thode se tension sad rehte hai. Is mein like we are very happily enjoying. So, Okay. <laughs> Bars in layout are really great, says Prathamesh, Rakshatopi Prathamesh. Uh, so, Rook A1. Let's first understand why this is a weak move because it's not so easy. He's attacked the queen and essentially he's saying if your queen moves, then I will win the pawn. That is what he's saying. So, naturally, you feel like you want to take the queen to C5 and defend the pawn on D5. Vaishali blunder again. Oh my god. Okay, let's go here. Let's go here. Vaishali Blender again. We check here for a minute. Rook d5 happened. She goes bishop e6. Rook d8. And she's taken rook takes d8. Which is a big blunder. She had to take this queen. This was an important moment. And enter into a two rook versus queen thing. But she takes the rook back. And this position is better for white. Because she will remain a pawn up now. Okay. So Vaishali in big With trouble. Queen five. Huh? With queen b5, was that the winning move there? No, anything is okay there. Sorry. Queen okay. b5 is okay. Queen c3 is okay. Many, many possible moves. You just move the queen away. But Sagar, Rukesh has made a, Ali Reza has made a mistake. Rook a1 on the but, board. Wow. Rook a1 and Gukesh played or not? No. But my point was that queen going to c5 is natural. And if you go queen c5, then again, we enter into that. No, 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 it's not natural. I'll tell you oh. what is natural. Okay. Queen b4. Why? Because I want to take, if you take cd5, I want to take your bishop, which is hanging. Ah, nice. You are pinning me. Okay. So the main move here, which Ali Reza might have thought, is rook a4. Firstly, Gukesh plays queen b4. So best move on the board. And what you would have oh, thought? Okay, okay. Rook a4. Rook a4. Okay. Queen B2 mara to? Bit 2G ko maro. Bit 2G ko mara to CD5. And, and ED5 ko? Now ah, I'm. Oh, you can't take Queen D5 because of. It's the time to fork, fork. Yeah. You don't like the song. <laughs> you like the move, but you don't like the song. <laughs> No, and song was terrible, but I'm just wondering because the rook is on a4 can swing over on the king side. Like after ed5, I was thinking if some sacrifice can come in, like maybe bishop c1. I was wondering, just move the bishop away so that you can put the rook on g4. But yeah, it looks too slow. Yeah, bishop c1, queen goes to b1, your back rank is weak. Suddenly, if this you know, this rook is something like uh. It's a you want. Okay. 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 
सो गाइज एट दिस मोमेंट जस्ट टू गिव यू वन राउंड अप वी हैव गॉट मेनी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग्स हैपनिंग बुकेश हियर आफ्टर क्वीन बी फोर ही फाउंड फाइंड दिस मूव ही इज बेटर विद अली रेजा अली रेजा इज डाउन टू थर्टीन मिनट्स हैज टू मेक ट्वेंटी मूव्स बुकेश ऑल्सो ट्वेंटी वन मिनट्स सो द टाइम दे आर बोथ गोइंग टू लैंड इन सी वी आर टाइम ट्रेवल गोइंग टू प्रग्ना नजाज गेम गोइंग स्लो एंड स्टडी दिस गेम वी आर प्रेडिक्टिंग अ ड्रॉ बट ऑफकोर्स टू अर्ली प्रग कैन स्लाइटली पोश Vidit versus Nijat. Vidit is having great advantage. After G three, he's gone into a long thought. He's thought for six minutes, but he has to make only five more moves. Thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, four. No, four more moves, and he already makes one of them. Knight f six on the board, attacking the isolated guy e four with the bishop with the knight. How is this pawn going to be saved? Only one move, which is knight d two to save the pawn. and still even if 92 will be played how do you continue because the problem is uh, you cannot exert more pressure on e4 f6 is hanging and at this moment can you find another best move so with it do better there are in between Rugby it two. will happen ha huh? rubd2 no rubd2 queen d2 But yes, you were right. If rook d two, then knight e four is pretty powerful. But if queen d two, you want to go knight e four, white to play. To play it. Yes, doesn't work. So the natural rook d two doesn't work. What do so you do? Knight. Why do? Why do we have to play knight d two? We'll analyze this also. But can knight g five also be an option? Because if rook g five, there is rook f six. Oh, right. very, very cool. You are right. So for knight g five, what is the trick with it? Oh, he's found such an amazing trick. Nice. Black to play, guys. What is with its trick? If knight g five will be taken by Nijad, what is the move with it? Is with it has planned? He say, "कहते हैं planning." Knight g four check. Yashu says almost five thousand people watching the live stream at around four a.m. Crazy guys, chess was never famous before, but and Anur, what's what did he say? Move knight g four. Yeah, knight g four. Four again. Knight g. Queen g five. Queen g five. Gone. Completely Achha. gone. Great. So ninety two go five number guys. इतना नहीं अभी सोचो सोचो Anurag super chats. Pounds, I believe. I firmly believe an Indian player will win this year's candidates tournament, despite being exhausted. Sagar sir is still actively involved. My deepest respect for his dedication. From UK, Arey Anurag, your first super Thank chat. You. Thank you. Rook Rook G six. I'm going to just simple. Simple, nahi hai idhar kuch. Here you maintain the advantage. Uh, that's good. That finding a simple move is still, you know, having a good decent advantage. But we cannot yet say with it as a winning advantage. But if he finds that move, which is a little tough, I would say a little tough. Yes. Yes. Wow! Amazing, smart Sagar. But it's not so clear. Because not so clear. If Rook F six. I mean, of course. But if he doesn't take, then there is no threat. So I don't know why someone played. Okay, but if he doesn't take, then there is threat. There is no threat. Yeah, so it's not so easy to find this move. I feel no, for a human. No, it's not natural at all. So if knight d two, the more natural move I think for Vidit would be. Like so late in the interview, Vaishali has lost. Okay, rook hmm. f seven. Rook f seven, but Sagar, uh, you going right now? Yeah. You you going right now? Like should I switch you off? Ah, he's only switching it off. Correct, guys. Let me also pull this uh, standing here because it's very important for this round. Now, to even more that we are going towards the end of it. Ninety two played on the board with it. With it uh, has with it is sinking, but the time gap between the jet and with it is only ten minutes. Good. Oof! But an important moment still because how do you continue? He can go rook f seven, but with your rook on g five, you don't feel that as more natural. You might consider rook g six as a more natural idea. 
which can give some counterplay for white with bringing the knight to c3 and once again we know that a4 is the point to attack okay very quickly guys very quickly uh no for championship i think it's uh it's it should be gone now it's not possible consider g4 where right now if you go g4 how f6 is hanging no ah you want to go h4 or what Oof. no white will ignore but very interesting idea out there going i want to go to gukesh's game because after queen b4 b3 was played by ali reza simply defending the c4 guy i mean anyway it's a pin and gukesh finds best move again again guess guys guess knight c5 with its blunders oh no what is the move rook d6 okay that is definitely not the best idea there we were looking at this as a very tough situation you see at this point when he played fe4 d takes e4 happened computer is giving the kind of edge which computer is giving is based on the whole calculation of queen e7 which was another series of best move which with it finds knight goes to f3 he finds another best move g5 because black, white would have equalized otherwise g3 was played then he finds another best move knight d2 so in the last five six moves he played the best moves in fact not even just five six moves i would say a series of eight to ten moves he's made the best moves this can happen rook d6 has happened on the board and there goes the knight 2e2 now realizing the knight on c3 will defend a4 uh, will attack a4 and also defend e4 so once again the position gets into the complex uh, behavior two double pawns for with it two double pawns for uh, a double pawn for nijat but whose king is going to be weaker practically still you like black's position for some reason if at all the bishop opens up 92 with it as eight minutes okay let's see wow this is never easy yeah chess is never easy I think Zagat is back or what? Okay. So let's uh, quickly look at Gukesh's game also. For 92, with it is thinking, should I shift? night sacrifice not happening yet okay i think um still if you look at the position position is he plundered maybe his advantage but the position is fine what is the best move here i'm just wondering how to continue pratham is super chats from getting nervous to come on <coughs> sorry to come on stream to handling candidates coverage <laughs> okay thank you pratamesh Cubic says Indian players are really doing amazing. Thank you, Cubic TV. TV, that's your first super chat. So very good to know that. AK Ra says, can you just show the best and better move with symbol as engine suggests on the board? That will be very nice. That will be crazy. And maybe I didn't really get that. Right now, maybe because I'm in the in another zone, but with it, this thinking is down to six minutes. Gukesh, everyone's saying go to Gukesh because after knight c5, knight d4 has been played, and which is not the best idea. Is that is the next move missed? But knight e4 is the most natural idea when the knight goes to c5. You want to attack the rook, come on. So rook goes to e3 and 24 moves six minutes for ali reza oh he has to make 16 moves in six minutes with a very tough position with also the pawn being sacrificed but with this attack and gukesh is like ek ruk mera idhar rukega baki mein nahi rukega he's clear he's clear about his uh, things 
how does he continue now rook e3 on the board now what is the move which comes because rook is stopping this rook from moving uh the knight is at the best place do you want to go bishop g5 by any chance to exchange this bishop no computer says this exchange favors white that's what the computer is saying because it will isolate with the ideas like these the knight will jump to f5 so not really so another thing after cd e d because the knight had jumped to d4 to get the f5 square that's important so it says i think our leaders and the mistakes are coming let's see by the way let's quickly jump to with its game because after 92 he does make a move with four minutes of thought and he has gone bishop d7 it's a very very uh tricky move which with it has found because whole time the bishop which was on another diagonal finally has changed his career you can say and looking at h3 idea only thing is the next move of white is very natural so i don't think nijat will take a lot of time because clearly it's attacking a4 you know the threat you know that it is defending here and if with it cannot really go queen e6 because uh, oh i thought rook f6 and queen h3 king g1 is not a problem but seems like it is a big problem because after takes takes you know what it's like with it doesn't need to care about anything he can simply push his pawn against this king wow what an what a sacrifice which can happen amazing so bishop d7 is definitely a tricky move for knight c3 nijat will have to consider a move like queen e6 though there is a defense there is a defense he can block the way and put his rook on f5 very much possible so knight c3 what else apart from queen queen e6 with it will have to think of something else uh, some other ideas as well kind of a tough position because you you are losing the a pawn right how do you continue well this is complex quickly let's go to ali reza's game rook e3 gukesh is thinking he's down to 16 minutes i'm sure one or two moments gukesh will be using all his time and they will have some equal time soon he can't move the rook maybe time to remove this rook who knows what about rook d8 is it a good idea okay not bad computer suggests rook c8 can be good so that you attack the c4 pawn so i like rook d8 rook c8 ideas so gukesh gukesh is thinking prag in the meantime the game is fizzling out the queens have exchanged it might even enter into opposite killer bishop but if anybody has some possibility then it is prag keeping an eye on the d4 pawn or maybe i change my word it, it, this game uh, karwana will be definitely solid it will end in a draw let's go to vidit's game back to vidit's game we will keep shifting between vidit and gukesh crazy computer line amrita in vd game knight c3 c6 see i was looking at c6 in knight a4 but what happens then oh oh bishop h3 and what happens for king h3 queen check queen d7 check but what ah you don't have rook f5 because of rook d2 that's over it's a pin your knight on f6 is safe just be careful about intermezzos but you still have queen c8 uh, so what if he goes back ah if king h2 then the knight will jump to g4 very nice don't go king g2 because there is a fork <laughs> okay got it uh so what if king g2 then what if king g2 over here oh the line says still knight g4 attacking the rook because the whole point is the this is a battery putting pressure on the d2 knight so the rook also e3 is attack knight e3 check so rook e2 seems forced no but rook e2 is also blunder because then guys black to play nijat blunders he goes knight b1 oh my god he doesn't find knight c3 because not about not finding but guys let's take a moment one moment bishop d7 by vd was a very tricky move whatever the computer says ganta computer it doesn't matter the whole point too many tricks when the 
opponent is attacking your sacrifice ideas knight g4 knight e3 queen d7 check a very tough position already so with it was being very tricky practically and that's why this move is a result of you know facing mm. such tricks so he goes knight b1 and with it still not easy because you don't play, make a move like h4 suddenly i don't believe that that with it is going to go h4 if he goes h4 come on hats off but the other ideas h4 is too computery i would say what do you guys think kanta <laughs> computer are harish babla thank you for becoming a backer of indian chess yes guys don't you agree with me so knight b1 has been played and 4 minutes to vd he vd he has to find he has to make two more moves quick moves are happening but let's stay here i don't know what gukesh's live board is saying to us b4 has happened okay his advantage is little bit dissolved we also have a super chat by ravi verma dear sagar and amrita thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your super human efforts and the passion you show to propel indian chess to the next level thank you for your super chat ravi okay guys very important moment in vd's game knight b1 oh he we play the h4 he played h4 i did not expect this i thought the more natural move is rook g6 which he will go for which has this slight advantage and I'm, you know we are not being greedy here that he should have a lot of advantage but h4 found on the board knight goes to c3 fortieth move which computer ke hisab se tough one rakshit has mentioned it computer is saying it's a tough one but with it says not for me with it is like computer ghanta nahi hai and he makes this move c6 tell me something wasn't g4 so tempting in with its game which i felt that he's going to think of such a move because yaar g4 you get this opportunity you will start calculating but with it says c6 amrita calm down he's like amrita i don't want to go g4 right now i just want to make my 40th move make sure that i have not blundered if he goes knight a4 then the same thing i will do but with the knight being at the edge of the board you know with this knight at the edge of the board which we have called it many times he a knight college ke katte pe baitha hai you know it's just right there kuch bhi life mein kuch nahi kar raha hai suddenly g4 comes in that's his idea this will be crushing if this happens on board it will be crushing of firstly you can't take here don't even think about it don't even dare it and if you go g takes h4 then g takes h3 the g file is open the knight is going to jump to g4 you can now feel the problem of the e3 pawn these rooks which were doubled on the f file they had a dream they were looking at so many things keeping a pressure on f6 they wanted to go to f8 but they never got any chance सपने अधूरे रह गए बेचारे रुके रुकों के सब रुक के रुक रुक के सपने रुक गए सो यर वी हैव सी सिक्स ऑन विद इट्स बोर्ड फोर्टी मूव कंप्लीट थर्टी थ्री मिनट्स एडिशनल विथ थर्टी सेकेंड्स इंक्रीमेंट सो वी डी ओ पी जी एच फोर हैपनिंग ऑन द बोर्ड ओके लेट्स क्विकली गो टू बाय द वे जी एच फोर इज वॉट वी एनालाइज यर नो no we did not analyze gs4 but first oops what the hell i've done yeah let's go to gukesh's game because that's there uh, gukesh kind of played rook d8 b4 happened he takes the pawn he shouldn't have taken the pawn but what's the problem c takes d5 27 moves 3 minutes to ali reza no increment 13 moves to be made in 3 minutes for ali reza and we all know the tension the time pressure tension so practically ali reza oh my god black to player because what oh gukesh come on you make that move unbelievable i just saw this move by computer and gukesh is not even taking time he just gives a knight sack 
नाइट सैक लाइक हाउ वी हैव सैक्ट आर नाइट ओवर यूर गुकेश नाइट सैक्स रूक डी फाइव अंटिल यू नो फर्स्ट अंटिल नाउ इट वॉज ऑल अबाउट अली रेजा अटैकिंग गुकेश इज किंग विथ गुकेश हैड टू गोइंग पैसिव Out of nowhere, we didn't not imagine that it's going to be the Gukesh whose knight is going to sacrifice, and White King is going to be the weaker king. This is insane. Tejas Kumtekar super chats huge one V D O P he says. <laughs> Rakshit says can't wait for men's Olympia image. Arjun, Gukesh, Prag, V D all in one team. क्या क्या हो रहा है यार इट्स लाइक इतने कम टाइम में ट्रिजी योर सुपर चैट घंटा कंप्यूटर यस विल डेफिनेटली क्लिप दैट इफ वी है गेट द टाइम स्टैम्प गाइस एनीथिंग एनी टाइम स्टैम्प फ्रॉम एनी प्रीवियस स्ट्रीम्स आल्सो इफ यू रिमेंबर डू ड्रॉप इन on the chat but let's understand what's happening here rook e4 defends this now what is gukesh thinking because i thought he wants to double here rook d8 attack this guy you are forced to defend with bishop e3 this was one of the ways he's complete piece down can he not go bishop c5 attack this guy even more how is white going to save the knight there is only one way to save the knight only one way white to play if this happens then white will have to find the move which is guys let me just uh, clear the chat yeah now now white to play yeah if gukesh wins this let's not forget at all you can see the leader board here the standings gukesh is on four points and if gukesh wins this he will be the sole leader with five points nepo on four and half karwana and prag because i believe they are drawing the game they will be on four and with it might also join we have to see what happens there so bishops rook d8 yeah he goes rook d8 because you know the other move which the computer was suggesting was a5 where it was saying that just ignore this you have three pawns for a piece and start with your passer so bishop e3 bishop c5 we are reaching this position and did the chat find the move the defensive idea the only idea no only three people found aditya raun and sanskar everybody wanted to play rook take c5 which was more natural to you guys but then that's a mistake because after queen c5 you had the rook for two pieces we know that two pieces are stronger but in this case don't forget the passers the rook and the passers are way stronger than the two pieces so not rook c5 would be a mistake okay let's go back also e5 is hanging not just uh, anything else can't go there queen b3 is the move this is the move ali reza will have to find and because it's the only move he will find and uh, most probably if all the takes happens this can also get risky for gukesh because he will have to he is piece down and he would be on the defending side so from where the position was crazy what gukesh was betting on is ali reza's time control this move is nothing but time control when he had he could have simply taken on d5 in hindsight maybe ed5 was the best way to continue because you know that has a lot of still complexity for ali reza but knight f2 is is only guki can do it yeah it's it's just a move a move of courage bishop c5 on the board not rook c5 that that's not happen 2 minutes 28 seconds for ali reza to find a move queen b3 this will show uh, like if he finds it quickly then ali reza also you know he will be definitely uh, b is, is back in the game if queen b3 finds he will find he will find with his advantage reduced with his blunder not not blunder what did he play by the way what did he play 
G4. Oh, he went G4. What is this move? First of all, as I have said, guys, once again, remember the Ghanta bar because this position is very tricky for me, white mainly to play. Knight has gone to G3. Oh, we have to come back here. Man, insane. So much is happening. Oh, he finds it. Queen B3 on the board with two minutes. So all of the all of the moments where everything was happening upper niche, I think the opponents have managed to uh, somehow make a comeback in the game. Quickly going to Prague's game, forty moves even they completed, but Rook C1, Rook C8, and Rooks are getting exchanged. This one going towards a draw. So Queen B3. Let's stick with Gukesh because it's a time pressure moment and also for with it g4 was played if we want to understand uh, gh3 is happening so you can't take your knight g4 so knight g3 was played and now uh, what is he going to do because if he goes gh3 how is white going to get out of the problems with knight g4 check ah white will the only defense for white will be to sacrifice here rook f6 Rook f6, rook f6, queen f6. So I think Vidit has uh, thought about this idea. But knight h5 and you recover. Oh my god. This is all... Uh, lot of exchanges can happen here. Mass exchanges can happen here. And then we will have queen bishop versus queen knight with an extra pawn. It looks very good for white, uh, for black to assess. Quickly go to Gukesh's game after Queen B3. Still not made a move. Yashu says, I will have fast for next two days if Vidit and Gukesh both win this match. Prague's result has, got, yes, it's updated. Prague has drawn his game against Karuana. VD is winning this. VD is winning this. Okay. Like, like I believe live board is updated, I believe. Yeah, if this one will be a draw, it would definitely... Uh, because Gukesh's draw still fine. Four and a half and the game was complex all along. I think Gukesh taking a lot of time. But for Vidit... He had, the, he's, he's made some amazing moves. He's been very alert. So, knight g3 is the moment where, why did he not take on gh4? But the best move for computer was to not take actually. Okay, but rook h7, fine. But gh4, because he likes g4 more than gh4. Uh, so maybe what with its assessment in the whole variation which we were looking at, uh, which happened knight g3 after this, where we were looking at gh3, rook f6, rook f6, rook f6, once again to just quickly show you this, queen h4, knight g7, king g7, maybe he assesses this as better for him because if white tries to take this pawn knight a4, the queen enters and it would get very risky for white. So, okay. Mass exchanges on Gukesh's board. Queen b3, knight b3, bishop e3, rook e3. This helps Firuza a lot because in time pressure, these exchanges are the quick moves happening. And now Gukesh must play a5 and not wait. The rook pawn against the knight is generally very powerful. So, Gukesh shouldn't wait. It can't go slow. Just can't. Anyway, if he, what else can he think of? Because he would not like to exchange the rook. Two rooks are better for him to have. So, he's not going to consider a move like rook d3 or rook d1. And rook d2 and rook d4 are controlled. If he tries to think that he wants to attack the e5 pawn and go a move like rook b5, already the rook jumps into c7. So, that's why maybe, actually, if you go rook a5, he will calculate rook c7. Then he will have to consider a move like a4. Then the knight is jumping in with attacking both these pawns. Now he has to consider a move b5 and say, I 
because f7 is still not losing the knight will be hanging so if the knight let's say doesn't go to c5 ah uh, where can it go it can, it doesn't have a very good square if it has to go to a very passive square like knight a1 then bukesh will say i don't care about this pawn and these two will be very powerful so rook e3 a5 is a must for rook c5 the most critical line which we are looking at is vd blunder no guys this is not a blunder this let me tell you again and again we have analyzed this it's not a blunder this is getting into a position where it will either be equal but nijat would have to play carefully or nijat one or two weak moves here and there and vidit would be the one who will get advantage i am still betting on this pawn in some way so i think vidit will have clearly very good practical chances but g4 i think was something which uh, knight g3 yeah knight g3 was very important to find but it's the only move here what else do you do so rook f6 why is with a thinking here oh does he have rook g3 directly king g3 queen check king h2 back and queen no but why would you do this because now you don't win this pawn on h4 so uh, yeah he plays queen f6 with it plays queen f6 we're reaching the analyzed position let's go to gukesh because i think yeah a5 on the board okay that is important move for gukesh because being a piece down if you mess up you can be in trouble so that is very important that you cannot be in trouble same thing is happening go a4 go a4 let him calculate it's a choice the decision one minute ali reza will have to use his time so let him calculate gukesh just go a4 very quickly if we have to understand guys with its game we are going to look at it after 40 moves on gukesh's game is over or a very quick check because we calculated everything over there which is happening on the board yes so knight c5 again on the board now gukesh has to find b5 with 1 minute 46 seconds he has to understand that a move because rook a8 is another tempting move wanting to push this pawn so b5 if he finds good thing is the rook on c7 is tied down for the defense so it cannot go to b7 it cannot take f7 so next how do you calculate next you want to move the knight maybe do you want to do that after b5 it's hard for it's hard to find a good move for white maybe knight a6 if i go a move like knight a6 already computer doesn't like it because rook comes to it oh he goes rook a8 yeah i was just mentioning about this move that rook a8 is very tempting because your pawn is getting pushed so what is uh, ali reza going to do here with 44 seconds and five moves on the clock even for ali reza if he goes a move like rook a3 then he loses the e5 pawn so he can't go rook e3 he can't stop it directly but he can he find a good move yes he finds the best move this was the reason rook a2 was not a good idea now knight b6 is a very powerful threat but uh, you you can give a check rook d2 check is possible not to go a3 in fact rook d2 check is a very important move rook d2 check the if king e1 oh no this is getting very risky for time pressure you can't take on g2 uh because you know guys one big problem you cannot underestimate is the back rank check check and knight f8 and discover attack and meet so knight t7 oh gukesh in pressure gukesh in serious pressure maybe rook d2 is actually not a good idea practically b5 should be the move but then if you play b5 i can't even believe what happens for knight b6 check and then you go rook d8 what does he play he played king at 7 mistake a big mistake by gukesh on move number 36 with 23 seconds on his clock knight b6 simply knight b6 oh my god 
Oh, sh this was completely out of nowhere. We didn't. We never thought that Gukesh might land up in trouble. The sack did not work for him. It was. It really got us excited, but it not. It did not work for him. Just a plain simple move. But a three rook f seven. This is the thirty eighth move. Two seconds for Gukesh. Most important is not to lose on time. Oh no. Fortieth move for Ali Reza is done, and I, I don't know if it is true, but yeah, this is over because knight g six and rook g seven checkmate. Completely lost. Yeah, the result is updated. This is how things just. What blunder did he make? King h eight. But this is lost anyway. Yeah, once rook f seven, the whole idea was about the king. Finally, Ali Reza very alert for you know when it comes to the king. So thirty fifth move. Actually, everything changed here. To find b five was important. Man, this one is this one is tough. But Ali Reza, after losing in such a way yesterday with Vidit. Bounces back on Gukesh, who was the leader. So Nepo becomes the sole leader. This is sad. This is definitely sad. What do we say? And um, you know, guys, only because the game is over, we can now say knight f two was not needed because e d five would have kept such a such a great pressure on Ali Reza, but. Uh, Nevertheless, that's how it is. Some sometimes it's going to work. Sometimes it's not going to work. Let's go to with it and see what's happening. We've reached queen f six and king g seven on the board. What do you think, guys? Maybe we should make a poll. For with it is this is the only game going on in the men's section, and for women's section, all the games are over. All three ended in draws, but Vaishali's was the only decisive result. She lost against Lerting G, and until now, Gukesh's is the decisive result. Yeah, Gukesh's uh, points will be. <coughs> Gukesh will be on four. Nepo four and half. Karuana four. Pragnananda four. Can Vidit join them on four? Yeah, but Ali Reza. Yeah, you guys are absolutely right. Ali Reza, uh, Ali Reza, OP for sure because the guy after such a loss yesterday, it felt like he's gone. Yeah, he's gone out of the tournament. Mm, but he, you never give up. That's what he's shown. Also, the way he played today, trying to create attack, was very good. Was very good. So with it, kya lag raha hai? What's going to happen? What should be our poll? This one is hard to guess because you know it's been going on like a roller coaster ride. And uh, both Nijat and with it that with it has played well, but. This 
uh, with such less material on the board and things exposed the probability of perpetual is so much that it's very hard to you know convert such positions Putting only two options because I doubt uh, if there is any, I mean, of course, you can always blunder, but I still don't think this position with it has any danger of losing. The queen and knight is the best combination, but there is this pawn on h3. So uh, that's just out of question. So we were looking at only two results, whether with it can win or it can be a draw. Guys, but... Don't get disheartened because even being on four, let's say having Prague and Gukesh and I think fe feeling very sad for Gukesh because we never thought he could lose there. You know, it was so, he played so well. There was no, we were always looking at Vidit's game, maybe some trouble, maybe this, maybe that. But for Gukesh, we never thought that he could lose that. Towards the end, that is about this time control, very complex uh, just very difficult sometimes suddenly yeah Firuza played too well with so little time yeah with that I think it became easier for him with that uh, extra piece somehow it was a little impulsive maybe Yeah. Things go wrong. Things go wrong. Let's face it. Sachin says Gukesh played brave chess as always. Sometimes it helps, other times it, it backfires. But he is here because of his brave chess. Absolutely true. Very important point that has also reached here because of such knight of two kind of sacrifices <laughs> which uh, the opponents couldn't face. So, that is very true. Very much in agreement and Gukesh will fight back tomorrow. By the way, if I want to show you the pairing for tomorrow, tomorrow Gukesh, but tomorrow is a rest day. Ooh, yes, we were talking about a rest day. Uh, day after, we will have Gukesh versus Vidit. Oh my God, we will have Vidit versus Gukesh because the cycle starts again. You know, they all, they play against each other. The Indians will play against each other. US people will. So, Nakamura versus Karuana. Then we will have Prag versus Ali Reza. And Nepo versus Nejat. So, that will be the pairing for day after. For now, we have uh, these rankings. Ma Aris says disheartened because we got excited too early even for a small advantage. Yes, that is also true that we also get excited and pumped up with some advantage and sometimes the... But I think for Gokesh, uh, it was just time pressure. That was... That blunder he would never do. It, it's uh, towards the end what happened if he had more time, which is the case with uh, anybody here, if in time pressure, if they had more time, so let's not go there. But knight a4, queen e4, knight c5, queen c4 is not so clear, says Rakshit. So knight a4, let's try to restart our analysis mode, guys. Knight takes a4 for with it. Queen takes e4 is what Rakshit says. Point to notice, there is no check from anywhere. All the checks are covered. And you have to take care not to take your queen away from the king. The king needs the queen this time really, truly, to guard the checkmate. Uh, so, we should, so queen takes e4. What was the variation? Knight c5 and queen takes c4. If we reach such a position, the knight uh, is covered very well. The knight doesn't really have any square to go. Except for, uh, no, d3 and d7 it can go. Oh my god, look who we have right now.
Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Harshit. How are you? I am good. I just got back from my game. How? I, what uh, happened? Just, what happened? I made it. I made a draw with Black. I was playing a twenty five hundred Grandmaster from Mongolia. Okay. And it was a quite a solid game. I was up on the clock, but um, uh, with Black, I it, I was just trying to be solid, and um, I tr- was pushing for at some point, but um, it was a draw. So yeah. So are you happy with the game and the result today? It was a long game, so I <laughs> I'm still trying to like you know uh like um understand what happened in the game, but I didn't analyze yet. So I'm more excited about what is happening here, Amrita. Tell me. Oh my God! You come at a you know. Either way, it's also good because a little bit uh, before too much, th- too many things were happening. One thing in mm-hmm. Vinit's game, this is the current position we have on the board. And what about other results? And what other happened results, today? Pragnananda drew with Karuana. Uh, Nepo oh, wow. drew okay. with Naka. It was an insane, crazy preparation. Na- Nepo was exchanged down and a pawn down and too many sacks here and there. So you have to check that out. <laughs> crazy and prak played uh-huh. french defense you know it went into advanced french in candidates for wow. the first time so that was about prak and very solidly very comfortably it ended in a draw but gukke ish versus ali reza uh, harshad just a while ago when things were happening uh, they landed mm-hmm. in time pressure gukke ish had gukke ish was clearly you know better in terms of this was the position he was a corner yeah. and uh, yeah. he also had a lot more time He could have taken the pawn on d5 and maybe maintain the pressure, but he played knight f2, which was also very exciting. Oh my for god! All of wow. Us. Yeah, very exciting move. Uh, in time pressure, especially so when Ali had three minutes. So rook d5. So he this decision was in fact good for that moment. Here everything, but these this helped Ali Reza to make fourth moves where he could cover. Yeah. You know, his time pressure. Also. Also, Amruta, in this end game, even if the material, even if the engine says it's equal, it's easier to play when you have an extra piece. So true. Um, and the pawns are still kind of not fully advanced. So. Absolutely. So here also, because he Gukesh also came down to two minutes, he had to find the accurate moves like a four and things like that. Even he played a four, knight c five, and here all here he had to go b five. He went rook eight, which is still okay. But after ninety seven, practically is under big problems. What to do? Yeah. Because knight b six is happening. If you give a check, this is attack, and suddenly you can't leave the seventh rank because the rook somehow they're doubling, and you know there is a mating attack suddenly with less time. I love your arrows, Amruta. Kya hi arrows banaye, <laughs> but I am thinking why not rook d two check? <laughs> rook d two check, king e one, and just rook g two. Yeah, this is the point. Your only move to find. Oh, rook f three! Wow. No, not rook f three. Rook f three, you can still save yourself. Ah, a three. Okay. This is there. Rook g five. It's supported, but the idea is completely different. One idea just badal de apki dunia. Oh, knight c five and rook f three. No, it was that's what it was very difficult. In fact, by the way, you love the arrows. I showed all the arrows. My idea. Oh, that means that was Sarkar, Harshit Sarkar. Are no? Then the arrow, what are you making? Are you taking position? Take it. Go. I'll tell you the move. The move was Rook C3, Harshit. I did oh. Rook C8 and Knight F8. Done. Go this on. is not easy. Not Go easy. But I think he found it because that's why he must have rejected it. He didn't play that. He went king at seven, which was a mistake. But, but Amrutha knight b six doesn't that just lose an exchange? Yeah, knight b six was also possible. Uh, he went rook f three. Went for the king, and here a big blunder by Gukesh. A three just finished it. Yeah, after rook. Oh, it's rook f seven, and now a two knight f six is just checkmate. Oh my god. Hmm. That happened. Knight f eight, a two knight g six, and forty. Oh, game checkmate over. on the board. Suddenly, our game over. Suddenly, and that just happened five minutes ago. Whereas for Vidit and Nijad, the game was going super exciting. Uh, I can show mm-hmm. you at a. This was like you know Vidit. Oh. Yeah, 
Vidit had made some very amazing uh, uh, accurate moves back to back. Rook a f1, he went knight at 7, knight e2 was a mistake here. And Vidit was very alert to find this because you, you can miss this. So, black to play. Should I tell you because you're tired or do you want to try it out? Oh, I'll try. Um... Okay. Rook f8 is the most logical move. It would be very different, right? When you're in the game from move number one and then when you're looking for at sure, the position, for sure. it's such a yeah. complete different uh, thing to look at. I'm firstly trying to understand ki bhai ho kya hai. <laughs> exactly. It's oh, is there like f5, f5, queen f6? You want that. You definitely want that. Sagar also suggested that only. But uh, not yet. Something mm -hmm, because there's f takes g6. Yeah. Because big, yeah. He, he takes f5. King h8, really? No, no, no. no. Knight you f8. Want to go f5. Five, so that's the reason e f5 attacked the queen. So maybe. Uh, oh, so okay, okay. Back. Queen e7. Wow. No, no, no. Not queen e7. It is possible. It's a good move. But there is a better move. A queen d6 and then go f5. Queen d6. Now rook d1 cannot be played. No blunder. Yeah, because bishop takes e4. Yes. So he went knight c1 and with it went f5. Amazing. Uh, like all these moves he found amazing. Rook f2, he went f4, b4. Amruta, it would have been huge to win this game with black pieces because uh, with it right now has in 50%. He just won the game yesterday. And if we won today, Amruta, back to back wins after back to back losses would have been legendary. Would have been and he would even join the joint second spot, you know, if he wins. Yeah. So, uh, knight f3. But these moves also he played very well. Because with mm -hmm. less time, he made some... G5 was such a good move, yeah? And it was the only move Super. you had to make. Yeah. So, he made Super move. G3. Knight f6 also he finds. Knight d2. He, here he makes a slightly weak move. Uh, but rook d6 practically still very good. Knight goes to e2. Bishop d7. I love this idea because, you know, suddenly a lot of threats are coming yeah. with bishop mm -hmm. h3. Knight b1, which was tough for uh, uh, Nijat to face. h4. This was all hap happening so beautiful. Last move, you know. Wow. Bishop, this was the last move. And I said that, come on, you don't make a move like c6. 40th move. No way Vidit can find this best move. But he makes this move on the board. Uh, gh4 happens. And here, 41st move, he is, uh, he could have taken on h4. That was a possibility. He could have gone rook at 7, but he goes g4. And that fizzles out uh, his advantage. Oh, wow. Rook f6, though, this, this idea, I think this is the idea what um, Vidit might have missed, Amruta. Rook takes f6 if you just go back. Yeah, but do you think um, he missed it? Because I thought that if he sees, let's say this one, it which is four, stakes, stakes, and knight h5, and queen h4. Do you think he might have thought that this is also winning yeah, actually, position? Yeah, actually, you're right. He might not have missed it. But it does look, this position does look very good for black, Amruta. Even if the engine says it's equal. But I guess the problem is that white goes knight e2, knight g3, and says, okay, I'm going to create a blockade. So, this is what is happening currently. Uh, 49th move, queen has gone to d2. King is too exposed, no? Do you think there are any winning chances for black if white goes wrong? I think so. I mean, we also saw, Amruta, if you remember the game that you uh, analyzed like, in a marathon game, Gukesh versus uh, sorry, Nijat uh, versus Gukesh, where yeah. it was an equal, equal, equal game, but in the end, Gukesh kept on the pressure and finally forced uh, Nijat into making a mistake and uh, won the match. So even if the position is equal, Amruta, I think some still some small practical chances, but the problem is that Black has no way to give a check to the White King. Mm, that's why even White and even Black both. They've covered it. Sorry, this one. Mm -hmm. Oof. So, looks like a draw, yeah? Major, I mean, eventually. But we'll, we'll see that because the pressure can be put. And uh, Harshit, but it is such a big surprise that you were able to join because uh, we, we really wanting to know how is it, what time does your round start? Is it exactly like candidates' timing or... 
it my round starts at 1 pm but it has 30 minute delay so it starts i mean the broadcast starts right at the same time with the candidates i think 30 um, minutes delay that is a huge delay normally 15 minutes they have yeah i mean 15 or 30 i'm not sure but they are, hmm. they every nowadays everyone has anti cheating measure so i think it's approximately the same time that uh, the candidates and my tournament starts and uh, also if you guys don't know and you want to check that out we also have aryan chopra and leon mendonca playing in the a section in my tournament yeah. i'm playing in the b section and the average rating is around 25 20 or something like this so pretty yeah. strong event as well and what is your rating currently my rating has dropped down <laughs> to 2460 so now i am on a mission to go all the way back what was your peak rating uh my peak was i think around 2530 okay so this tournament uh, we are looking at uh, we are also rooting for you <laughs> 2500 gm yes and uh, you are uh, so tomorrow you you will have one round only right every day one round and every day one round yeah totally every nine day rounds. one round Yes. Okay. Whoa. Oh, we are gonna definitely miss you then, Harshit, because the time is clashing. We yeah thought that it might be a little bit different time, and then you know you will be able to join. But even before analyzing Harshit's game, guys, today he first came right here on the stream. This is so nice of you to do that. Yeah, of course. I mean, I I mean, I knew what happened in my game, but I wanted to know what happened in the games in candidates because I did not have a chance to look at it. So I thought the best way to look at it is to analyze it. <laughs> no, you have to. I think some of the novelties uh, which are played in. Uh, would you ever think of trying F five, which Prague has played? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that, uh, unlike Prague, Amruta, I don't have. Uh, a crazy preparation, and uh, I don't think I'm currently having the same skill set as Pragnananda to be able to do it successfully. <laughs> no, but uh, who knows? You will have maybe. God Beluga says where to watch Harshit's tournament on uh, Leeches. We may Leeches we we will have right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is on the Leeches. It's called a uh, summer classic B group. Summer Classic B Group. Right now, all the games are over. Yeah. Um. Yes. Ah, that's why we're not seeing. But uh, Summer Classic B Group. That's how you can check out, guys. Yeah. Maybe we will also get it tomorrow while it is live. Uh. So first day for Harshit, a draw, a very good result. I mean, with your black. And yeah, decent with decent. black. It's it's never easy to uh to. you know score or score a win um or even a draw because you know your everyone is very well prepared and wants to do well with white but i actually got some small chances so I'm, i will after i after i go from here i'm going to start analyzing my own game <laughs> definitely and where are you right now exactly like in the tournament i am in my hotel in st louis uh, it's a very nice hotel actually it's called the chase plaza okay. so I'm currently uh, in my bed and uh, having the best time watching candidates. Nice. Sometime maybe you, when you are outside, uh, you can show us your hotel also at some point. Oh, I'm for sure. sure. Yeah. Time, the game like Bukesh Nijad kept going on till six o'clock <laughs> or something in the morning, and we will have some sort of game like that. But you know, Harshad. Oh, but I think. they are just repeating amruta bishop g4 queen d2 bishop c8 i think this has happened twice already Wait, and i think uh i think vidit realizes that he doesn't really have any uh doesn't really have any ideas and they are going to probably agree to a draw um so i mean still a good result amruta to make a draw with black but uh considering the position and advantage he had I think with it might be feeling ki yaar agar aaj jeet jata to it would have been like you know I would have was back in the race totally Absolutely but uh, even in that race if uh, I I think it's happening very closely because the Nepo on four and up today we thought Gukesh def- would be a joint leader we never expected him to lose uh, so, uh, so that is a big blow in a way and uh, Prag and Gukesh both will be on four and Vidit will be on three and half if this three and half in a draw So still, you know, some because imagine again there are draws and draws, but let's say Vidit yeah. manages to win some game. Only mm-hmm. thing Harshit is 
like the, normally for this elite tournament they kind of see who is playing the weakest in terms of the point point uh, the right. skill so that's where he will feel that nijat was the beatable guy over here and uh, could hurt him that way yes and amruta i will uh, on that note now that it seems that this game is going to yes. be a draw i will take a leave from you guys take some rest and um, uh, maybe tomorrow i'm able to join you guys uh, earlier in a oh. positive result oh nice and uh, tomorrow you're playing with uh, you, are the pairings out Yeah, the it's a round robin event, so the pairings are out. I am actually not sure who I'm playing, uh, but I need to I need to check soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then we we'll let you go and prepare and all the best, Harshit. Uh, come Thanks a lot, Amruta, we'll and uh, <laughs> yeah, and see you guys soon. Bye bye. Guys, that was so nice of Harshit. Uh, to join us even for a few moments to be so curious about what's happening here really after your game generally you are so tired but uh, to come on the stream even for these minutes and to understand beautiful that's the interest of candidates that's um, when you love chess so much Six skin says I'm still replaying last moments from Ali Reza game. Gukesh's facial expression during last minute are just sad to look at. Tough luck. Parth says how do I watch Arshit's tournament? I think on um, I just asked him. So on leeches tomorrow we will try to look at it once. G O T says it's the same hotel where. Uh, yeah, you can ask him tomorrow. And did I miss any other super chat? Wait. But Vijay is not repeated yet. Yeah. The Akshay Nathu. What is this? What is that famous song from Sir Farooz dedicated to my Indian team? Twenty second April, nineteen November. Na banjaye sambalo. Twenty second April, nineteen November. Na banjaye sambalo. Yaro. I mean, I am very bad singer. But nineteen uh, November. Ko kya tha? Yad nahi hai. Nineteen November, pura pura joke, kuch tha bichara akshay, and then I'm like, I don't remember. Maybe the chat remembers. I don't know. We lost. Ponsa World Cup, because because if you're talking about cricket, I wouldn't know anyway. So, and upar se to remember a date. of when you lost in the world cup is impossible your birthday is yaad nahi rehta hai ye to chance hi nahi itne logon ko yaad hai yaar so many of you remember crazy by the way vipul kotiyal has has sent another contribution on help chess vipul is like every day you are you know doing this opening and uh, end game and opening is by you so <laughs> Wonderful! Thank you so much. And I don't know if I have missed other names as well, but Aman Raj had sent, Prasad had sent, Kavita, Ayush Modani, Abhijit Mishra. Oh, thank you guys. We have reached eleven ninety three believers. Way ahead than our goal. Also, we crossed fifteen lakh thirty one thousand three hundred and twenty four uh, subscribers. So all, many people subscribed today. Very nice of you. Has he not repeated? Look, how many times they actually repeated? King G said, "Oh, draw." Yeah, the result. Draw updated with it draws the game. I mean, I'm sure it's gonna hurt him because uh, he was just right there, and mainly because some moves which he found were so brilliant. They were epic. If you see the quality of his play, actually, let's let's just take a moment and say hats off to him, because he played a five. He he played over here this idea with f six, rook f seven, and h five. It was a very good idea, you know. Even if he would have not have gone h five with keeping f five in hand, but the courage he showed with h five, 
here he was able to make sure that he can defend this he was right there queen e6 queen d6 i think he was very alert with the queen moves today they were epic when to go queen e6 when to go queen d6 those were the best ones also keeping an eye on the d3 pawn just look at his game guys he really played well and this move knight e2 you, you saw i asked sagar i asked harshit but the first instance nobody's going to play queen d6 so it's such a natural move to miss so knight e2 queen d6 and f5 uh here is the way he managed his time i think it was amazing if he if he keeps continuing to play like this uh i believe that okay g4 was not the best but still overall quality of the game then he is there right there in the in the league of in the top league can't discard him at all you can't this is like it's very difficult to make a plan otherwise with your king so a draw happened and do we have the updated standings let me pull that out for you guys the updated standings Uh, maybe on the leaderboard we might have it yeah there we have nepo 4 and 1/2 karuana nepo 4 and 1/2 karuana on 4 prag on 4 kukesh on 4 nakamura 3 and 1/2 vidit 3 and 1/2 piruza on 2 and 1/2 and nijat on two points so for firuza great result striking back today after the painful yesterday's loss against vidit and for nijat also holding it strong not losing against vidit so uh, next ground is going to be you know between whom it's going to be the pairings are Karuana versus Nakamura. Yeah, we did discuss this. Nijat versus Nepo, Firuza versus Prag, and Gukesh versus Vidit. So that's one thing. Gukesh versus Vidit. One of them only. I think if if we have a result, uh, if Vidit loses, then he won't have the top chance. So for him, a draw or a win is a must. And for Gukesh, he's going to try and you know try to go for becoming the leader, joining the leader again. Looking at the women's game. uh today yeah the pairing will be lano goriachkina nurgulena uh tanzongi versus leting ji so leting ji might that would be an important game vaishali versus hampi oh yeah that is another thing so leader board if we look at it tanzongi leading with 5 points goriachkina on 4 and 1/2 and leting ji on 4 so if leting ji beats tanzongi then there also it it will start getting interesting lano on 4 uh, hampi on 2 and 1/2 and vaishali anna all three on 2 and 1/2 so women our girls are having a tough tournament there but let's see what happens <laughs> are nikhil bhai i हाँ ऐसा है ये सवाल तो बराबर है पर वैसे होता नहीं है ना एंड वेर इज आई डाउट इफ सागर विल बी ज्वाइनिंग बिकॉज समटाइम्स इट्स गोइंग बी हार्ड या गुकेश लूजेज ओवर देयर आई डोंट नो विथ हुज इंटरव्यू यू माइट हैव गॉट नाका नेपो वुड बी एक्साइटिंग बट दे हैड प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस प्रक करूँ आना वॉज अ ड्रॉ एंड टू विद आई थिंक right now may not be in the best of you no know, it also very tired so guys we are actually half tournament is done 50% of the tournament is done uh like talking about candidates 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 and half of it is just done can you believe it then फटाफट गए कितने फटाफट गए एंड टुमारो वी विल हैव अ रेस्ट डे देन वी विल अगेन हैव थ्री राउंड्स
ट्रैवल विद निखिल रोशन से जब भी मेरे को ऑफिस का काम करना है ऑफिस का काम वर्क फ्रॉम होम है क्या इतनी रात को रक्षित इज ऑल आई थिंक ऑल थ्री मैन आर टोटल इन फॉर अ फाइट जस्ट इमेजिन इफ अली रेजा बीट्स नेपो सडनली नेपो इज नॉट लीडिंग एनी मोर वी डी फॉर द विन रूटिंग फॉर हिम टू विन द कैंडिडेट्स इट इज वेरी मच पॉसिबल मेरा भी थर्टीन सुबह एग्जाम है इट इज रक्षित विच सब्जेक्ट रक्षित आई थॉट यू आर लाइक यू नो लाइक गुकेश हाउ ही पुल्ड आउट ऑफ स्कूल एंड कॉलेज आई थॉट यू आर ऑल्सो प्रॉडी जी रक्षित वट आर यू डूइंग इन स्कूल एंड कॉलेज यू मेकिंग बार इज यू टू गो टू द बार कॉलेज क्यों जा रहे हो यार निखिल से अपनी पब्लिशिंग कंपनी है जी क्या बात है वट्स द नेम ऑफ योर पब्लिशिंग कंपनी निखिल रोशन अरे बढ़िया वेरी नाइस वहां से शायरी आई है लगता है डेटा स्ट्रक्चर इन एल्गोरिदम्स इन पाइथन बापरे द सब्जेक्ट द नेम ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट ऑल्सो आई थिंक इज डिफिकल्ट डेटा स्ट्रक्चर इन एल्गोरिदम्स इन पाइथन मेरे माइंड में तो वही आता है अपना चेस का बुक पाइथन स्ट्रैटेजी जिसमें एक्चुअली एक पाइथन पाइथन ऑन द कवर विलास आई एम जस्ट मैसेजिंग सागर बट आई थिंक वी कैन वेट फॉर टू थ्री मिनट्स अदरवाइज विल ऑल सी बट नॉर्मली ही जॉइंस funny screenshot oh my has sent How is your schedule going? My my schedule is uh, going crazy with my sleep timing changing and my food is, appetite is changing. Everything is changing. I don't know what I'm going to do after one week. It's not going to be easy. First three four days I thought it will be it will be maybe not as much as I thought, but it's fine. It is definitely fine because uh, you know even in such a tournament, if you remember what Magnus has said and all that, to be in such a race. to be in the race of being top to be one of our player until yesterday was a leader even today they are there just right there even this situation is a blessing because it could have been really worse so that way i think we are all having some exciting games plus the uh, fact that they can be the joint leader they can be on the you know they can just win and yes there is a possibility to become a champion because if you are last you know that in those points there is no possibility at all so this hope is something which is uh, at first half of the tournament is over and we still have this hope so that's a very big blessing our players are way stronger and they are all in for fight prag with the black pieces against karuana playing french getting such a comfortable draw come on imagine yeah it's it's like he is doing it like such a pro so this is amazing experience for all of us i think it's a different experience for us uh, in our streaming for you guys in chat i believe uh, it's like not not any other tournament world cup was something uh, very different with knockout formats but this tournament is very different and then uh, yeah as chess with india we keep having many important tournaments as well we will have norway chess we will have many more events where our guys are going to play so it doesn't end that one tournament for us uh, you guys are always there to support so it's amazing faizan says can you guys do a series on imbalances described in jeremy selman's book i think it would be helpful for all of the intermediate yeah this was one of the ideas actually it would be very nice um i don't know if it requires a permission or not but it can be good to show some snippets of it uh i think it will be very helpful would consider that 
Rakshit says, guys, if you have any suggestions to the bars, if you want to contribute to reach out to me on Twitter, Twitter Rakshit. Sorry for the personal promotion. Personal kuch nahi hota re, chess bhi India pe. I don't know that song, you Raj. I just got to know today a new song which Sagar had put on the Instagram. It was very funny. Uh, it's a Marathi song, uh, but yes, let's hope for the best. I have not heard anything yet from him, but let me try to. <laughs> oh yes, I'm. Wow, there we have. Hello. One second, Sagar. Hello, Sagar. Hi, Amruta. How are you? Can you see better? What a day. Yeah, the day, the day actually turned from being very promising to actually not such an ideal one, right? Yeah, it was a bit tough. It became a bit tough towards the end. Sorry? Yeah, it became a bit tough. I like how you are ulta. Like I, that is a nice look you have. I didn't do it. Kuch to karna to gaya. By mistake. <laughs> on but... stream you are ulta or on stream you are sida? No, they can see whatever year I'm ulta on. <laughs> <laughs> but it feels like I'm talking to you in front of you. Now yeah. it's good. Yeah, the day was, uh, the day, um, I don't know, how is the mahul over there? Because... Aray, what are you doing, Amruta? What? Make I... your No. Achha, I thought this is good. Okay. Kabhi -kabhi galati hoti hai na. Flip I don't know how it happened. I'm doing it, but you can talk to the chat until that time. Yeah. You're for uh, you and Lou. Uh, okay. Hi. Hi. Wow. Actually, you look quite good, Ulta. So maybe I should actually. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah i was saying that today was actually a very promising day which turned into a quite uh, uh i wouldn't say disappointing but definitely a surprising end to today because i felt like uh gukesh after he got that pawn on a5 and Queen B4 and Ali Reza in the press conference said he completely missed this night jump, night C5. And he thought he's going to lose. Plus, Gukesh had more time than Ali Reza. And from there, what happened was insane. Like, uh, I think... Yeah, yeah. Knight, I mean, knight, firstly, Knight F2, when he played, if Gukesh would have simply played E takes D5, that would have put more pressure on uh, Ali Reza because he had to make 13 moves in 3 minutes and... Moves were not clear, but with Knight F2, what happened, uh, his moves became forcing and clear. The press, press conference that he missed Queen B3. Ah, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, he missed B3 and he, I think he even saw perhaps vaguely Queen D3 and he thought he will play Rook, rook takes D4. Maybe we can see the board for people. <laughs> so he thought here, uh, yeah. Here, he thought he's winning. So, Ali Reza also thought he's lost. He, Ali Reza was planning rook takes c5 here, actually, before yeah, queen b3. Our chat also answered rook c5, but it wasn't working. So, uh, he was about to kind of resign here. Oh. And then he saw queen Ali Reza's main uh, today feeling, like if you just see him, was like not mm -hmm. at all in spirit to play. And so, all you new. Know, like at some point, he felt like it was... There was no hope left. But then suddenly he saw queen b3. And then here I think Gukesh wanted to take rook d4. Uh, but he completely missed that after rook takes d4 here. Oh, queen b3, rook d8. King h7, rook c5. Mm, too much. So... Actually, the pawn on h5 played a crucial role, yeah, for bite completely yeah. throughout the game. 
बट इवन इयर अगर इयर एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम गुकेश प्लेड ए फाइव अमेजन मू रुक सी सेवन दिस वॉज वी वर लुकिंग एट दिस नाइट सी फाइव हैपन एंड बी फाइव वॉज स्टिल इम्पॉर्टेंट टू बी इन गेम लिल टफ पोजिशन बिकॉज विद द रुक एंड द नाइट एंड सम मीटिंग आइडिया इज हैपनिंग बट बी फाइव वॉज नेसेसरी Yeah, can you hear? No, I can. I mean, did you say something because I couldn't hear you? Thing, but yeah, this uh, turned into a very surprising uh, turnaround, yeah, for Gukesh. Yeah, I'm very sad one because it's it did not even end. we were looking at you can win and a draw was like okay draw to hoi gai and suddenly uh, losing was just. All of a sudden, it would also hurt him a bit, and he would have been a joint leader or a sole leader. From there, uh, exactly. If you if... sole leader, if you would have drawn joint leader, but I think uh, if you looked at Gukesh in the press conference, he came for the press conference. Okay. He looked tremendously sad. He hardly was speaking one sentence. You know, uh, like uh, Anna Bultasova, the press officer was asking, like, uh, "Will you? What will you do tomorrow?" He said, "I will see tomorrow." He said, "Will you play chess? Will you pre- prepare, or will you do something else?" He said, "I will. It depends." You know, like he was just there because it was part of his vacation. Uh, he was very upset. I think Pragna Nanda's interview I did. He was very shocked that there was this move G five in the position, which is very surprising for like when. Uh, should I go there? Five. One moment. Before I go there, just to end. But no matter what, we'll also remember that such moves which Gukesh is able to make are completely amazing, uh, courageous moves. You know, in less time. So sometimes yeah. it doesn't help. So Pragnananda G five. Yeah. What did he say about that? Yeah. Uh, here at this point, uh, before before Bishop B five, I think this was the moment where G five was the strongest move. and when i told him this he was very surprised and he said uh, he was he didn't feel g5 was right but the moment i suggested the movie understood that okay this was very strong so yeah he definitely felt that 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 was a small miss um but yeah a solid result for prag now prag and gukesh are again on the same score actually yeah. right yeah four while uh, vidit uh, came in a much better mood after the game but the moment he saw that he was also winning uh, after especially he did not uh, particularly think queen d6 if you remember that move instead of rook d6 this was easy to find uh, here like after no no ahead ahead f5 yeah take here ah here this is move typical queen d6 again taking the move but he he, he didn't realize and when i told him he was like yeah this doesn't seem fair But then the move that really made him upset was rook d six knight. Yeah, uh, knight c three c six was good. Your g four. He played g four. This was forty first move. So he took four minutes and played. But rook h seven was a mm. winning uh, move here. And the moment he saw this, he was quite upset that you know this would have given him the win because at g h three. Yeah, then the knight jumps. A uh, queen at seven. Yeah, this is crushing. Actually, it was a, it was a very big miss, especially because he had got thirty minutes here. Yeah. So, the only reason why he missed was because he thought g four is crushing, like it is winning on the spot. But uh, he he missed uh, Nijats maybe knight g three. I mean, he just didn't. Calculate very clearly, I think, and then uh, yeah. Here there is no chance. No, this one is like nothing to try. Got it. There, there were uh, so here uh, draw is fair, but I think overall uh, today we could have like Gukesh could have scored. Even a draw should be okay. Maybe more than winning. You I mean, could have, hmm. and Prak could have. Okay, but tomorrow is a rest day, Sagar. Tomorrow is a rest day. Most, uh, most needed for the players and also myself. Yeah, you uh, make sure that you sleep. Uh, no, no videos or anything. But can you see right now? Just tell me that. 
yeah it's fine i will sleep i think it will be it's just that my eyes are tired you know like it's like when you are awake for a long time editing looking at the screen and they get tired that's what has happened nothing else and uh, late thing is uh, i sh- i told her quindify and she was like yes my husband told me so she got to know before so i she really liked that move and um one very very nice incident which happened was um so vidit was a little upset when he didn't find the the win so we were sitting and he was he was looking through then uh, his seconds came uh, surya daniel vedika and they were leaving and then uh, when they reached down so so what happened was uh, on the stairs one little kid shouted vidit 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 as a you know today he wanted to just leave but then he couldn't and he came back up and then he took pictures and all which was cute then he went outside into because it was raining he went directly inside the van and there was two kids and a mother standing there and um, they were so disappointed because they were waiting there and the door closed uh, of the van and the van also moved and the mother was telling to because i was standing right besides the mother so she was telling to the kids don't worry everything will uh, you know it's okay we had a good day this was a missed chance and then with the, the door opened and with it came out and the two kids were like yay and they took <laughs> so cute oh no nice but you were watching this going again and again you know between you know sir can you hear me yeah yeah and with it came and it was so cute the whole thing was so cute are you again uh, going <laughs> Are you keeping your hand over there? No. Haan, is it possible? Speak. Is it okay now? Yeah. So, uh, you so, yeah. shot that? You got that? Yes. It, then they said we will frame it and so on. So, it was very cool. cool. And uh, yeah, he made their day, uh, which is always nice. Yeah. so today i think no indian one yeah maybe the first round first time in any round that no indian one no because one round there were all draws no maybe so yeah mm-hmm. okay okay sir, amruta yeah. take care maybe Thank i'll you. Uh... and i will try and get some things done and then i will take some rest and don't worry about anything guys thank you all for supporting also being here supporting on by becoming subscribers by becoming members through super chat through help chess uh, amounts and you know even though there are no cams here you guys are following and enjoying the analysis and we are very grateful for that and also i hope to bring all the best updates from today and uh, on our channel and so on so thank you bye oh yes that was sagar shah for us uh, and take care have a good sleep have a good rest tomorrow we will be having next round with it versus gukesh so be there for sure one of the key aspects that stops the progress of many chess players and put them in an extremely difficult situation is finances over the years thousands of chess players have left the sport because of lack of funds this is the reason we came up with the help chess foundation there are people out there who want to support indian chess players and there are chess players in need of funds we at help chess wanted to act as a bridge a transparent and accountable bridge where every single penny that the donor contributes is put to use in a way that it powers indian chess over the last 4 years of activity help chess has raised over 60 lakh rupees we have had many scholarships like the mkg scholarship pursue your chess murlidhar jalan foundation sadhna app sponsorship and many more it has benefited more than 50 players from getting good training to being able to travel to tournaments to working with better technology health chess tries to ease the lives of the chess players and supports them to move in the direction of their goal all the amount that is raised for chess players is then transparently updated on the chess base india website 
but we have always wanted to improve the experience of our donors. That's the reason why we ensured that our charitable trust is ATG compatible. The donors now get tech tax benefits. And with that in mind, we are launching the Health Chess website. When you visit the website, you will see two ways to contribute, Believer and Big Believer. Why did we choose the name Believer? That's because each of you who contributes believes in Indian chess. As soon as you donate, your name is updated in the recent Believer section. At the bottom of the website, you will see all the initiatives taken up by Health Chess that have been transparently mentioned through the link articles. If you click any of the articles, you will get an update of all the people who have contributed. Our hope in the coming years is to support more than a thousand chess players and ensure that no talent in Indian chess is wasted due to lack of funds. We hope that you will join this initiative to power chess in India. Chess is becoming very popular and we are always asked by parents what is the right age to start chess and what is the best way to teach chess to their kids. We at Chess Base India have always believed that even a very young kid can learn chess if it is shown to them in a fun way. We feel that a beautifully illustrated children's chess book will be a perfect fit for kids to kickstart their chess journey. Chess Park in Chess Adventure Park is your first chess book. The book introduces you to the character of Chess Park, a fun grandpa-like character who absolutely loves chess. He takes you on a journey in a chess adventure land where the kids learn all about the chess board, chess pieces, the rules of the game and much more. The text in the book is in the form of a poem story which can be read out to the kids. Chess Base India's vision has always been to popularize chess and we hope that many more youngsters fall in love with chess and take up the sport thanks to this book. This book was conceptualized by Amruta Mughal and Sagar Shah. It has been brilliantly illustrated by Kirti Kulkar. Order your book now from the Chess Base India shop. You get a chess board, high quality chess pieces, a bag for the pieces, in a world, a chess board, as if all of this is the same time so that when we put in your life. Chess Base India Premium Chess, premium chess Set is not a type in the fact of great chess sets playing manufacturing. Here are some features of the premium that the product was like the best possible. MM stand with various and built them sent to the content design. Chess Board has a high class plastic bag for the PC point and five chess board. As all of this is the case in fact so that when we put in the usual pieces that are not being conditioned. Deep side in the fact that chess sets are manufactured. Here are some features of high quality vinyl boards like rotation, chess is in video and in the box. Total weight is also perfect for a Usual also have gift wrapping options in the chess base India shop. So what I mean is for you to justify a chess by the FBI of chess high quality and denial board with the notation the chess base India link in the pocket and a leatherite finish. You have two flat nylon gross things for the board and pieces the chess base India logo. It is also a perfect product to give to your loved ones. We also have gift wrapping options in the chess base India shop. So what are you waiting for? Get your hands on the chess base India premium chess set and challenge someone to a game of chess in real life. Link is in the description. When you walk down the street, you blend in with the crowd. No one gives you a second glance. You are just another face. But when you step up to the plate, something shifts in the air. A spark inside you ignites and you become a force beyond compare. Unleash your inner passion. Let your true potential take flight. For in that moment, you are not just a common face. You are a fierce warrior, a master of your craft. And nothing can stop you from reaching your goal. Unleash your inner champion.
Chessbase 16 is a powerful software where you can save your games and analyze them. You can also create databases and manage them. It's a powerful tool for any serious chess player and is used by all the top grandmasters in the world of chess, Team Carlson, Anand or any other tournament player. The best database that works along with Chessbase 16 is Mega Database 2022. The database opens inside of Chessbase and has over 9.2 million games with over 100,000 of them being analyzed analyzed and annotated by top grandmasters across the world. The biggest advantage of this database is that you can search any position and get to know who has played it before with the reference feature. You can also prepare professionally against your next opponent which will help you to gain precious rating points in your next round. Get the Chessbase 16 and Mega Database now. Link is in the description.